My dick. I've been, you know. You are such a lucky cocksucker. Talk shit about me carrying a knife ever again. Airstream is raining a lot, but it's not. I'm gonna refresh this page. Start. Start. You are. Start. Please start the preview player. Okay. Such a lucky person. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You are so lucky. We're about to be in it. We're about to be in it, dude. I need my water. Ball me my water, bro. Let's do the damn thing. Catch. Oh shit. We are finally here. Everybody's here. Relatively, you know, more on time than we are. So when people get here, we'll talk about why we're late tonight. No, I already just put it in chat. I said, Sean may or may not have dropped the Ethernet adapter did, in the dirt. Did you say so I, I said, did? That's what I said. Show me that chat. Let me say where you blame me. I actually said I might have. I know you but did. But then I said dash Sean. Nope. So. Wasn't even a part of it. What is going on, everybody? Let me get back to the old Pajaruski here. I fixed it, though. Here's the thing. We were literally on time. We were early tonight. Me not dropping this, we were with, seven minutes early. With, yeah, about... Six minutes to go, Dan walks in and goes, I dropped it in the water. <laughs> I'm like, dropped what, Dan? I think the water was less a problem than the dirt. The amount of sand that Mud. was packed in the uh, the adapter. Some people call it mood. <sighs> All right. And then I had to take my, my knife and fish out a amount of sand that would allow it to connect to the, the computer. It wouldn't plug in anymore, interestingly enough. I think it was packed full of sand. It was had a little sand in it. Just like Dan's vagina. Bourbon Buddy said, yes, dropping loads. He dropped it. I dropped it. All right, what is the date? The date is 723 of the 19th year of the 20th. Grab the wheel just in case we need it. Let's get this shit going, dude. Welcome back, everybody. We're the Bourbon Junkies. I'm Dan, he's Sean, and it is another Tuesday night with the BJ Bros. What are you doing? Getting the wheel spot set up. I just asked you to get the wheel and you're like moving whiskey and shit. Where the fuck's the wheel at? Oh, it's okay. over. Tight. Amateur hour. It's high. Amateur hour is yeah, dropping the connector hour, in the dude. fucking mud puddle outside. I'm gonna be honest, it wasn't great. The walk out and he goes, I'd send this puddle right here. You mean that super fucking sandy one? Awesome. <laughs> this is the puddle I remember it. <sighs> All right, so I see Lix Cat in the chat, John Whiskey, wait, W.I. Whiskey Sipper Watson, Morgan Downton, Guy Davis, OG Brick 420s, Ryan Alves is in the Ooh, chat. that's good. Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews, Rebecca Page, David at Hatton, Hot Hun, Mark Redding's in the chat already? What's going on, everybody? Hey, Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for hanging out with us tonight. I'm sorry I did not get this bag away from Sean before it started, but I was in a minor panic of... We're gonna have to leave every door open so the Wi-Fi can get through the brick wall. And then you, you'll just watch us get eaten to death by mosquitoes. Yeah. So. It'd be like a snuff film. We're in it. Mm. It is efficient says, dang video looks good tonight. No idea why. Literally not, I have no idea why. Haven't changed a damn thing. Because we did a poll on YouTube. Everybody on YouTube told us they wanted us to sound better, not look better. <clears throat> or they, I think they said we're ugly, lighting won't fix yeah. it. No, it, might make um, it, sound more it looks better straight. tonight because we're not, the camera is not being throttled through uh, hangups. Well, it, it did look better and now it's at 3, 3.30. But oh, don't jinx it. Not even showing me. <laughs> Hold on. What's happening? What's going on here, dude? Way this, to go, this ADHD is IT fishing. Guy. Way to go, ADHD fishing. That was definitely your fault, dude. Network and sharing. You know what? It's gang gets, gang it's gets to do this. It's really up and down. I'm gonna take the old phone off the Wi-Fi. Why is your phone on the Wi-Fi? Probably game? uploading all the. All that the, is fucking so inappropriate. Pictures and. Okay, you were okay. Good to know, dude. Porn. It's probably not your wife watching <sighs> Hulu in there. She's not. She was up in bed. Cause when I walked in, I, I expected to see her. 
She just left every TV, every connected device that you have on, just streaming something. Good luck. What you, what you doing there, Dan? Texting Ricky and say, jump off the Wi-Fi, please. Just in case. I don't know if she's on it. I'm just saying jump off it if Your you're on internet it. is just fucking spectacular. It hit 4K a second ago. Mm -hmm. So something is going <laughs> right and wrong at the same time. It's also hitting 700 right now. She said that was the emoji. It's killing it now. 3,000. Well, we don't ever hit 3,000. I don't know. That's my house. Over, it's all over the place. Just fine. I don't know why you're Everybody says good now. And thank you guys for waiting through all the bullshit. <clears throat> it's all over the place, dude. I don't know. Hopefully it evens itself out here pretty soon. So, tonight, we do a whiskey war. I haven't seen the name in the chat yet. Oh, I just saw it. Expel 23. If we type hey. it enough times, Dan might read it. Maybe. Here's the thing. We probably say things like 10 to 15 seconds before you guys hear them. At least. So, chat's like a little behind. So, I read something, but it's already happened. Oh, my gosh. So, Expel 23 sent us these samples with this little piece of paper that says, Do not open. And then it says, Legend. And when he said, when he wrote the legend, it's weird because then in quotations or parentheses, it says, Dan. It, which is, I appreciate, dude. I appreciate that a lot. So, that means a lot to me. So, uh, can you smell the bullshit? Because I can. Everybody in here, so you guys know. How many we got in the chat? We got coins for sale. What else? We got four, we have 38 in the chat, 40 in the chat. 40 people putting up with the bullshit internet all over the place. Is what this is. <clears throat> oh my. A bunch of people said it was good. Now, I would like everybody to blame ADHD Fishing for saying, wow, stream looks good tonight. Move the truck. <laughs> Crashed right after that. You so. moved the ring light. It's not on. I know, but now I can't shoot through it. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't move it. Okay, it bounced out. It's not my fault. <laughs> All right, dude. Get shit out of the way here. Dan will take that trash can out in about six years. I have you ever taken it out once? Yeah. No. I'll take it out tonight. Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Do that. All over your front yard. The <laughs> first time ever. So, um. What, what else do we want? Oh, you know what? Is there enough? There's 35 people in here watching? 34? It's just dropping. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Listen, there were 31 of you waiting for this shit. I have a surprise for everybody. And there's a surprise for Sean, too. So, I will recap what happened. Only 34 of you are going to get to see this bullshit. So, um, we put out a video on Thursday called Rise You Should Have in Your Collection or Rye Whiskey You Should Have in Your Collection. Oh my god. That was we there. got a comment from a kind gentleman. I won't put the comment on the screen right now. If you're part of our Patreon, you already saw this. Let's see here. Okay. So you should be able to see the comment. <laughs> Hopefully it'll pop up on the old screen here in a second. So that happens to be the comment that was left um, by somebody who's obviously been to the channel before leave it up so everybody can read it so and what I wanted to do tonight to honor I don't remember the person's name and I can't read it because it's too small on my screen I want to do something yeah, to honor it. that person this is how we're kicking off the it. night are you ready are you gonna go get a red nose out I'm not getting a red nose because I didn't, couldn't find one at the store I went to you got a spin and bow tie I want something else because drinking whiskey out of a bottle what did he call it some clown shit? Yeah, I don't know. I heard Trailer Park, I heard you guys are clowns. I heard, uh, you know, people complain about us like spilling whiskey and stuff. Well, I'm nervous. So, went to the store today. I bought this bad boy. So here's what we're gonna do. Please, let's not. Oh, we're doing this. Because people who can't have fun with whiskey should be punished, okay? And though that person, I have fun. Why are you punishing me? That person doesn't have fun with whiskey and doesn't have friends, okay? So, to pay respects to the person... Dude, how much tape did... We took this down to Texas. Well, Would we didn't go to Texas, but this bottle did, and it's very taped up. With the watch glasses? I don't know. Why are you oh, yeah, she's coming off now. There it is. That was the big strip. Are they behind you? There's monkey bread. Gabby said, I see no monkey bread. 
Yeah, Dan's keto. I'm like legit keto right now too. So here's the deal. So everybody knows. The old Dorsey stag. Long pour into the glass. Okay? Because we have <laughs> we have fun here, dude. Listen, we got time to worry about not having fun. Alright. Okay. I'm gonna spray this in your mouth. No. I'm gonna I wanna shoot it up and I want it to fall in your mouth. <clears throat> here, I've gotta drive home, so how about we spray you? Dude, I don't give a shit. This is Look how much whiskey's in there. I'm legit a little wrapped to like nothing again. Oh. It's not streaming right now. Gabby just had so much buffering. Yep. Oh. I'm sorry, bud. Oh, my eyes are so much fun. I did not mean to hit you in the eyes, dude. Oh, because it was just like a nice fine mist, so it just aerosoled in there. <laughs> that was not like, the intention. I basically just got pepper spray. That was not the intention. If it makes you feel better, the whole spray, it stopped buffering before the whole, the whole thing. It's, I believe, fixed right now, but it stopped. Everybody said they missed the whole, the whole thing initially. Yep, we all missed it from buffering, as Gabby just said. All right. There's a lot of George C. Stag on this table, and there's more, a lot in Sean's eyes, and only my left eye. Um. New shirt. <laughs> Mine is soaked. I think you have a actually have shirts here. Yeah, we're doing it shirtless. What size is this? Oh, that's gotta be mine, but you never printed out. I can't see a fucking thing. Sean's kind of blind, but the internet's, I think, fixed. So that's good news. I think I gotta actually figure it out, so. If that makes you feel better. Hey! <laughs> wardrobe change! So, Sean T. Nobody knows that. Nobody knows what happened except for me. Yep, Sean spread it directly into my eyeball. I think I was more prepared <laughs> for it, and then I accidentally sprayed it in Sean's eyeballs. Like both of them, wide open. On accident, though. Mine was more on accident. Sean's was more on purpose. Oh, yeah. And so Sean's been rinsing his eyes with water for a handful of minutes now. Apparently, the George C. Stag took out the internet. <laughs> But it's fixed. I fixed it. It's Actually, probably, OBS probably thrashing around. OBS, um, I don't even know where the rest kinda, of the wash glasses are. Kind of took a shit. So here we are. I just got pepper sprayed. Yeah. And you all got to miss it. Listen, everybody missed it, and I feel bad about it. It was fun. So if I don't spray you, I feel like we kind of have to do it if they really missed it. Your one eye, just your. It's probably bloodshot. Just your left eye, bloodshot. Yeah. Do you think that you can spray this less aggressively in my face? I don't want to do that. Okay. <laughs> you basically maced me. <laughs> Hold on. Get that bottle over there. Nope. Get that glass over there. Oh, I'll get you back. Don't worry about it. I no, don't... no, no. Nobody saw it. Nobody saw the whole point of this. I bought this today. I paid money for this. We got you. Got to squirt it in the sky and hopefully get in my mouth. They didn't see that. They saw none of it. Oh my god. Yeah, grab the, that glass right on the other side of your water. That's what we need. I was because she once said seriously missed it. Ah, cool, 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 cool. I'm not reliving what happened. You can relive whatever the fuck you want. Actively pursue not my eyeballs. Uh, that's fine. You, there's so much in this still. Yeah, that's what you did to my face. <laughs> yeah, that's what you did to my face first. No, dude. I wish there was a replay of it. Because okay. what I actually did to you was squirt it in your face. And what you did was ambush me. Okay. This is for wait, who was the comment? I don't remember. I'm gonna close I'm gonna cover the old eyeballs. 
That's too close. Can you back up a little? <laughs> like, I don't need a point blank facial here. You, know Do you what want it in your mouth or all over your face? Kinda in my mouth. Well, then I'll get nice and close. All right. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> Did some of that hit the back of your throat? <laughs> Oh, so much is in my nose. <laughs> is it at least not buffering this time? I don't fucking know, man. You guys get to see that one? Because what happened last time is Dan picked it up and went like that. See how much more just came out? <laughs> my eyes were fully open for it. And it just maced me in the face. And I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> I don't have any <laughs> shirts out here, except this one. Somehow you have, oh I do. I, look at how much hit the fucking sign. Are you shitting me? That was yeah, my a face. Lot, a lot, that was my face last a time. Lot, no, so all this down here is legit your face. On the bottom after that? Oh yeah, it hurt. Okay. Yeah, so I took roughly a uh, 124.9 proof alcohol. <laughs> right into the eyeballs, without knowing it was happening. You guys ever been pepper sprayed? That's roughly what happened. I'd imagine it's miserable. Okay, well, <laughs> biggest dick has said, nope, buffering, do it again. <laughs> I'll Lies. fucking shoot him again, I'm Lies. not afraid. This is solely because, for those who weren't here before, because there's more people here now, that comment was left in a chat. You need the, you need the fucking stop. Look at how much still comes You're, out. Okay. You remember we're doing a fucking whiskey war tonight, right? Yep. <laughs> All right. So, we're doing a whiskey war. Thanks to a Spell 23 for sending us these samples. Now they're all flavored with George Cheese Tag. Now my water. Is no, flavored. your box is still dry and so is mine. Your water probably has a little whiskey in it, but I have a lot of water right here. Okay. DJ Beacon said if you miss, you can watch ESPN's top 10 tonight. I had nightmares about this tonight. <laughs> Morgan Downton said, <laughs> that spray gun is worth $1. That shot of GTS would cost $100 <laughs> in some bars. <laughs> Listen, that's a, what I was trying to say earlier when it was buffering was, if you can't have fun, there are other channels for you. If you hate fun... Well, I'm glad everyone missed the buffering. Because what channels. happened at the end was not fun. Sean almost died. His poor little eyes hurt now. You know, stuff like that. Dan had his eyes closed both times. Yeah. And then the second time there was this over it. So imagine just sitting here like this and then out of like the corner of your eye, George G. Stagg just flying at them in aerosol form. Yep. Unless it's just whiskey, you know what I mean? I'd rather it be in my mouth I, than my me eyes. Me too, dude. Than my nostrils. I got most. I got some of it in there. I you know most. what I'm going to do? I'm going to open this that says do not open. I don't want to know what it is, but I want them to know what it is. Can you guys not say it in chat if I show you, please? No. Okay, don't say it in chat. Because we have no idea what's in here. Do not open this legend. Okay. Don't look. I'm fucking blind. If it's upside down, I apologize. Is it in front of the camera, kind of? Yeah, there's no way to read that. It's tiny fun. Okay. I don't know if it's... You might be able to read that. Because it's close. I can see words. I don't, I don't know if they can see it or not. It says don't open. So we'll open it again afterwards. If you couldn't read it, I'm sorry, but we will tell you what they are soon. So Expel told us for this whiskey war. Looking on the shelf, I was curious how you guys would rate these blind. You have had all these bourbons before. All right. So they should be relatively familiar. I feel like I've had a lot of, uh... dude, everybody said closer. But the thing is, autofocus is not, so it's not going to focus if I make it too close. Oh, you're but, lucky Gabby didn't see that. She said, uh, by God, I saw it in chat. <clears throat> yeah, if only like you knew someone afford, that was a scientist. Couldn't afford goggles. So. And just owns goggles at home. Okay, don't look. You know I own like goggles and safety glasses and all the safety equipment, and, you know, all the PPEs we could be having. I'm just refocusing it and moving it closer every time. Well, I can kind of like read, like I'm, I'm thinking they could have read words off that. Okay. As long as they can kind of read words. Did you turn it back to manual focus? I set it back on us. All right. Oops. Okay. 
So, there it is. Please don't say what they are in chat. We don't know what they are at all. Oh, what's the most expensive bottle you guys own? Like Ordering? secondary or retail? Retail, it's like Angel's Cask or Angel Sherry or... No, it'd be the Willet 10. No, because a distillery retail is not that much. It's like 100. I thought it was more than that. Mm -hmm. Fuck, I thought the Willet 10 was more expensive than that. All right. That's, yeah, that's probably it. Is uh... Jeffrey Wack with a dono. Kicking it off tonight. Listen, dude, he said 25 minutes into this, I see nothing but the utmost professionalism. <laughs> I feel like this has been the biggest disaster live stream we've ever done due to internet issues and Sean's eyes. Like, <laughs> just those two things, dude. That's what you're going with, my eyes? What do you get? I'd read, but... Super Chat Showdown, bro! I'm actually fucking blind now. Glenn Thief said, that's the kind of professionalism I come to expect. Listen. I appreciate you expecting that. That's what I appreciate right now. Okay, uh, <coughs> Jeff, let us know what you want in the Super Chat Showdown. Sir, I'm gonna give you a cheers on my first sip of oh. this uh, Whiskey War from Fuck. the Spell. It smells good. Thank you for the donation. Thank you for the support. We appreciate it. These are Whiskey Wars, remember? What's happening, bud? I'm calling it duty, man. Hey. Do you think I drank I drink a lot of it? Yeah. And we have almost none left, so go ahead. You do you, man. I'm going to put more in here. Hey, oh, it tastes like them. peanut butter. That's the most peanut... Oh, there's not a lot left in there. Hey, don't drink all yours. Shocking. Um, so that hey, tastes a lot like peanut butter. You're really a fucking wreck tonight. I feel like I pretty much consistently live there. I don't know why you're super surprised. Let's get some proof. Peanut butter. If that's not Booker's, I don't know if it's high enough proof to be Booker's. Could be. Jeffrey Wack. I don't see what's in hmm. the chat yet. Okay. It's really good though. It is good. I I don't know if it's like I said hmm. the proof sign up, but it definitely has a profile. It's like a nutty profile. But it's really really fucking sweet. Fishbone like, said, "Got the Sam's today. Thanks guys." Fishbone. Hey. Thank you. Glad for you got him. The channel support. The love. Like, I would guess more infection. like a, a Blanton uh, straight from the barrel. No, it's nutty. Mm -hmm. it's community nutty. blend. We're kicking off a new oh, community a new blend tonight. Um, we have to pick see. the base then, don't we? What? We have to pick the base then, don't we? I don't know what that means. We have to pick the first, like, couple ounces. Oh, anyway. yeah. Yeah, we have it. Okay, that'd be okay. mix your small batch. Done. Base. Cool. I was going to go uh, Elijah Creek Barrel Proof. Oh, hey, what, easy killer. We just did that. So it seems fitting. You start with some higher proof. Give it a foundation. Uh, Sir Fishbone, let us know what you want in the community blend. Thank you for the support. I'm going to give you a cheers and then a smaller sip this time. Let's try not to chug it all, Dan. Did you read what was on the paper, the legend here, the do not open when it was up there? No. Is that why you're guessing straight from the barrel? No. It just it seems I almost so feel like much it's a sweeter. little young. Like mm -hmm. a little. Like maybe a six year or something like Man, that. Yeah, I've got some proof on it. Um, Jeffrey Wax says, will it tenure now that I know it's oh shit for the super chat showdown? on? We could do that. I don't have a problem with that. That's a ballin'. For the super chat show, I don't have a problem with that. It's a ballin' fucking one. Um That's oh, in the middle shit, though. Dude. Oh, here's the issue. I wanted to bring this up because the Super Chat Showdown, so Jeffrey Wax actually picked two things now for it. Well, Whoa, we have two? We're done with our second showdown already? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because Expel, we need to know for something from Expel. And then Jeff again. Here's the oh, issue. Oh, damn. Um, so we oh, because he did the Will It Four. Brad, he I said forgot. let's do a Rye one. I forgot about that. But we didn't. We missed Brad's pick in chat, which is already Old Forester 1920. Oh. So I don't, we can do it. I'll do it. It's up to chat. We'll do like a Ryan Bourbon one, but it's going to be much easier to pick out things blind if that's how it is. Okay. So Jeff, you have been the only person that picked Rise for the Super Chat Showdown. If you want to switch them to Bourbon, because Brad Woods was the first one for the Super Chat Showdown, and he picked Old Forcer 1920. Pick two bourbons that go into that since you have won it that twice. Or you've landed on that twice. Maybe that is just like a Booker's that we've never had, like a center cut or something like that. You know? 
get that. Center cut? We've yeah. never had it. I know, that's what I'm saying. It could no. be like a Booker's we've never had. It could be. I just feel like I feel like it might be. He said we've had all we these. We have a bunch of Booker's, though. He said, literally, you've had all these bourbons. So, that's on the paper. So you know what I would you know what I would actually relate that to is the Kentucky barbecue one or backyard barbecue. Okay. I'd relate that because I get so nutty. God, I don't remember all of them. Or is like an Ezra low proof? Because I feel like the proof's not that high. You got Ezra seven. I'm saying the barrel proof though. That's one fourteen, isn't it? That's pretty low. It's much lower than Booker's. That feels hotter than, than one fourteen to me. I think it's got a good set in there. What do you get? Quick review. DJ Beacon. With the super chat, seven dollars and seventy-seven cents. Pick a bookers. Great episode <laughs> of Clown College tonight. Lucky sevens and no whammy. Listen, DJ Beacon, <sighs> you're the man, dude. Thank you for all the support. For real. Um. You know what? I need like a cheers glass. That's what I need. Okay, I got mine. I'm gonna go special, special wrist hair. Nope, nope. Why not? There we go. Cheers. Thank you, sir. Fuck. I am so upset they don't make that anymore. I'm just gonna keep that down there. Oh okay. god, that's so good. Uh I was cause she wines in the chat. This is Sam. I'm drinking vodka and powerade. Hey, actually I, I do like vodka gatorade a good amount. Yeah, so it's basically the same thing. Yeah, because like you wanna party, but you don't wanna die. But you wanna hydrate. Yeah. So you can like Take out some vitamins and minerals out of your body, and then you put them right back. Yay! Ready to be? Mash and drum in the chat as well. Patrick Fulmer in the chat. What is going on? If you haven't checked out IOC, she wants her mash and drum. Oh. If you're here, you probably have. If you haven't, check them both out. Oh. They're both amazing. Wait Nothing one more time. Is good as now. Oh. I couldn't make it to the store. Okay. Well, Sam, that's uh, you know. B smells amazing. I'm just gonna go because I don't need. That's damn. fine, dude. Uh, DJ Beacon, we need to know what you want a quick review on, dude. Oh, Let us know. Fuck, dude, this is rich. Pick a bottle. I think A is the nuttiest nut of all nuts. So, Jeffrey Wack, Traverse City Barrel, the rye or the not rye, store pick or not store pick. Those are the two questions I have for you. Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah, that's only one, and we need two from you. So, pick two bourbons. Oof. Yep. See how remember I I was like, hey, maybe we shouldn't drink a lot tonight before yep. we we stream. Yeah. Because these might be like high proof and wouldn't know. Sure. Yeah, I think they are. That's cool. <laughs> I'm in. Today was a dis. I got a phone call on my way into work, and they said, just so You're you fired. Just so you know, oh. uh, we just found out that one of the. Okay, I don't want to put this over your head. One of the servers in your cluster is completely off, and I went. Go flip that oh. bitch on. <laughs> he said, just to let you know, I said, I'm on my way in. I said, or I was on my way in. I'm actually turning around and I'm driving away from work now because I'm not dealing with that at 7.30 in the morning. So, oh, jeez. Oh. Okay. Another? We're trying to get to the thinger. Okay. I just want you guys to know. We're you guys to, know he can't fucking stand. Trying to get to the thinger and mash and drum with the super chat. He said, mash and drum said, Oh, another quick review. Holy shit. He said, This is how we die. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it, dude. He even, he, he, uh, what do you call it? I might just sleep on your couch. He censored, but this shit's demonetized as fuck. Because <laughs> it's a live stream. I so, took a George Chee stag bath. We can't fucking monetize that. He said, Fuck that comment from that guy. You guys are great. Like an orchard. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> dude. If you have not, I, that live stream is going to hold up for some time. If you have not watched the live stream when we were down at Jason's, you need to. Jason, let us know what you time. want us to do a quick um, review of, man. We will hit a quickie on camera. Yep. Jeff said at Traverse City Bourbon, just so you know. So I said it on chat. Barrel proof bourbon. Uh, and then hopefully he said another one. Not Rye, Store Pick. Elmer T. Lee was the other one. Okay, cool, dude. Expel, if you're still in here, we need to know what you want for the next Super Chat show, and you're the only person I don't have a thing from, so. Um, hmm. If I miss your comment, this is what I'm going to do right now. If I missed your comment at some point, I want you to, um, and if and we need information from you for a Super Chat show, for an address for samples, 
for community blend options for any of that stuff uh email us or hit us up at instagram the info is on the screen you know like people do drugs through their eyes yeah. i'm pretty much just drinking oh my eyes i'm pretty tonight. sure this eye still feels like it has alcohol in it but i kind of enjoy it like this one in a weird it way out. It's one of those things where you're like, it hurts so good. So Dan's gonna drink that water bottle. Just know my eyeball was pressed up to oh, it for I a while. Know, just going, eh. It was not good. I did not think about that. Yeah. Bourbon Prince, is there a whiskey war going on? Seems like two unprofessional hacks trying to whiskey tube. Crying laughing. <laughs> Do what we can. Listen, listen, Bourbon Prince. You damn well know what you came here for. Um. Right? Uh, Dusty Dan Whiskey Reviews, what's up, fellas? What's going on? If you haven't checked out Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews, Dusty Dan's got a new channel over at Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews. Click maybe, on his, maybe click they're on not his name. Maybe they proof. Mine all just have George G. Stag reined in them. So I don't think the proof's low. Yeah. I just didn't think it was. But Booker's, in my mind, drinks pretty hot. Because you're a bitch. Uh, yeah, but if you haven't checked out Dusty Dan, go check Definitely him out. Do he's, that. Just, he's just uh, kicking shit into gear right now. <laughs> Worth checking out, dude. Just kicking shit in the gear. Kick that shit in the gear, bro. What's a bottle you want to try you can't find under 50? That we want to try. That I can't find. Oh. How much is Chattanooga whiskey? Or how much is um, that uh, Iron Bringer, whatever, from Texas? Iron, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Um, Those are the two bottles, I guess, right now, probably. Iron Monger, it's Iron, and something Iron. Um, they were just drinking it on the, the whiskey, uh, the the ladies' whiskey. Oh, did they drink it yeah, last, last night? last night. Um, Iron Root? Hmm. Is that it? Iron Root Republic, maybe? Something like that. Okay. I, I'm just keep thinking Harbringer. That's what I keep thinking, okay. too. I don't know. Those would be one of the two. Brandon know. said, how's that Michigan Bourbon Club bourbon rye? Haven't opened the rye, the bourbon's good. I will see you tomorrow, sir, with yours. So uh, is this just gonna be like Booker's water? Oh, okay, so I think the proof the proof is higher, high-ish on the second one as well. Um, bourbon Junkies, do you like the four-year Michter's, or four-year Willet or Michter's Barrel for Prime? Uh, I don't know. We haven't opened the Michter's we, Barrel for yeah, Prime. Yeah, uh, the Willet four though is really good. Um, definitely unlike most rye anywhere near that age. So the it'll be interesting to put it against. Even, I mean, uh, I don't know. I, we've never had the barrel strength rye, but I'm assuming it's going to be delicious. And I bet you it's going to be a little bit more classical where the Willet four years is a little bit kind of more off the wall. I, I do believe. What you doing there? I'm just dude? trying to catch up. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss the shit that I'm actually looking for from DJ Mash and Drum and Fishbone. They tag you in it? We were talking. Yeah, that's a good idea. If I ask you for something, tag us in it. Sometimes it doesn't work for my phone, so it doesn't work for everybody, but um, tag us in your Well, response. that's because you can't spell. Oh, so it makes sense why it doesn't work for you. Oh, all right. Iron Root Harbringer is the name. We got it. Oh, okay. Look at Yona said. Yona's in the chat. What is going on? Sip and Whiskey also said Iron Root Harbringer. DJ Beacon said Chattanooga 1816 cask is like 45. I'd love to try Chattanooga. Haven't had Chattanooga. Yeah, I don't know what that iron root is, but I think that'd be a good one to try. Yeah. Mash and Drum, give a quick review of early in the bottom bump. You know what I just realized is we're doing a uh, quick reviews straight out the bottle now. Because quickies, listen. Dude, that's how we've always done it. I, I'm, just, I'm just saying, like, I would like to explain myself. You're going to enact a rule we already have. We, I'm not about to hit a quickie from a Glen. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're gonna do it raw. That doesn't make it. Yeah, you raw dog a quickie. Every time. Every time. <laughs> it smells floral. Yeah, very much so. Real fruity, nice and sweet. A little bit. Dan's gonna get super drunk tonight. Mmm, I feel like this is one of the closest you can get to. Uh, mm. Antique without being weeded. Someone's got a fruit roll up on the finish, like a strawberry one, without the artificial aspect of like the sugar. Mm. But it's got such a, like a, a really good chocolate for me too. Oh, like it's really rich tasting. I kind of agree with the chocolate. I don't hate that. Like it, it tastes much, um, <sighs> much more refined than what it should be for a four-year whiskey. For a twenty-two ninety-nine bottle. Yeah, Listen, definitely on that side of the. Brown form just. Not just four-year, but just 
Yeah, Brown Foreman 22. Squeezing value out of bottles. That is probably my favorite cheap bottle by I far. I think there's the smallest amount of alcohol that lingers that's like astringent. Yeah. It's a $22, $22 bottle, bottle for a yeah. liter. So. Yeah. Good bottle, though. Mm. Good. Not, that's, uh, for me, I know that's like a, in probably an A. I'll always try to have a bottle or two at home. Yeah. Quickies aren't for the classy, William Gressel said. You're damn right, and you know why you're here. It's not for can Somebody you? at work called us, uh, what are the cam girls? Somebody at work called us cam girls today. <laughs> and I said, you have no idea what I would do for that amount of money. You have not a clue what I would do for the amount of money a cam girl made. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that one girl was selling bath water. A junkie's got to do what a junkie's got to do. OG Brick. <clears throat> I feel like that's one of the truest statements that's ever been said in our chat. You want a, a like, taste to be ever? Yep. Because I'm ready to go to see. Mike M said, surprise, surprise, they like brown Foreman products. Who knew? I don't think we've ever mentioned it, Mike. So what? maybe relax on that, dude. Adam Gaston, uh, bourbon junkies are 100% unprofessional. That's why I keep coming back. Listen, well, I'm not trying to build a community of assholes. <laughs> like, that's not the goal here. The goal isn't, let's hang out with all the people who can't have a good time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The goal is, let's just hang out with a bunch of cool people. Yeah. All right, cool, done. If you're a fucktard, get the what? fuck out. A fucktard. Did you get an extra A in if there? If you're like a, a fuckatard. Fuckatard. Fuck That's fuck starting to sound racist, so I'm going to let the accent go. I'm going to let it go. No. I'm going to listen to too much Bobby Lee. <laughs> oh, fuck. <man. laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I love Bobby Lee. He is such a weird, weird son of a mm -hmm. bitch. B, way better than A. Done. I think so. Moving yeah. on. Sweet, rich, dense oak. Chocolate. It's still got Almost a hint like, to that nut. Like there's a little, little, little bit on the finish, but nowhere near as much. What is uh? What's the vampire cereal? The chocolate one. Cocoa Count Pebbles. Chocolate. No, Count Chocula. Cocoa Pebbles. You're fat you? as fat as shit. Son of a bitch. Richie's easing the chat. Come on, Richie. The. <laughs> I can't. I'm just. I can't talk about that anymore. It hurt. Fucking hurt. Jeff Blackhole equals fun sucker. Bourbon apprentice said. <laughs> Chad Blackhole equals. <laughs> Woo! I'm just gonna cut her off right Dan's now. Dan's getting drunk tonight. Listen, dude. I don't have. I don't know. Damn. Don't All think. right. I think he put these in a way that they just keep getting better. Because C right now is smelling good. Ever had a wild turkey Kentucky Spirit single barrel $60 or Rebel Yell 100 20 Like either of those. We're like Kentucky Spirit. Yeah, and actually. Um, because of the fun. That's gonna be our next one. Yeah, no, we can buy it right now. I just, it's at a store that's like 30 minutes away, but I'm going to get it brought here so we can have it here, hopefully tomorrow. We'll see. Can you go to see? Guy Davis said, Dan, I was gonna say you're sounding a little more Southern Indiana. I thought he said Southern Indian, and I'm like, I don't think I can say that out loud. But and he said Southern Indiana. He's called telling you you're starting to talk like the Northern Michigan. Like Southern I'm, Northern. I'm Middle Michigan, okay? And the UP talks just like. And the accent doesn't start until yeah, this much whiskey. Northern Kentucky. This yeah. <laughs> this smells way better. This is one, okay, so here's the thing. I know Sean's palate like I know the back of my hand. Not I could drink a whiskey and tell you if Sean was gonna like it or not every time. I fucking hope so. That would be such a fun video. We get, Will he like we it? We both get whiskeys neither of the other person has had, and I don't drink mine, the ones you picked. You drink them and you tell me if I, you think I'm gonna like them. Like you write it down blind. This has some proof to her. Okay, I just want you to listen. I don't wanna listen to you. Do you, it sounds like a blast, though. You buy whiskeys you know I haven't had. Okay. You drink them, and you write down whether I'm going to like them, and maybe, like, a grade I would give it. And I do the same for you. And then we, we, we come together as one under the sanctity of... <laughs> but then we, like, trade, and we see if we're right, how accurate we were. You don't see... You're tasting the whiskeys I got for you. Fair. Okay. I like, I like this it. idea we'll a lot. That. This that might be a lot of fun. That'd be a live stream. We're doing that shit. We just gotta find whiskey right neither of us have ever had. Yeah. Yeah. Good thing okay. we only like a bunch 300, of them. Three hundred thousand of them. Yeah. Is this C? This would be C. Patrick Fulmer. What is going on, dude? Thank this you. has that like Thanks leather richness to it. Thank you for the support and super chat. The Chattanooga unfiltered barrel proof opened up and got really great after it was open for a few weeks, dude. Okay. Oxidation and whiskey 
go together like caramel and fucking fruit, dude. How much is that old elk barrel proof? Someone just talked. Someone sent us a uh, email. Yeah, an email about it today. That was David Hatton. He said, yeah. "I want this." Uh, me too. Yeah. But it doesn't come. Well, we have non-store picks up here, but that's yeah. it. Here's my problem with. Old, let's get to this. I'm gonna tell you my. I'll give you a TLDR on my problem with old elk. I love your problem. It's too good. Sampa Sam, Patrick. It's too good. Sir Patrick Fulmer. We don't get it. Let me know what you want for your sample, sir. Thank you for the donation. Uh, samples can be anything except this shelf. Let's put it that way. Because we never pick them and we say we're going to do it every time. So. All righty then. So here's, here's what I want to tell you about uh, Old Elk real quick. Old Elk, I listened to uh, Dad's Drinking Bourbon podcast. And on said podcast, they... Uh, we're talking to the Old Elk Distiller, which is a distiller, a person that used to be a master distiller at MGP. And mm. he said the one, the one thing they told, he could use any mash bill at Old Elk, he could do anything he wanted. Yep. The one thing they wanted was smooth whiskey. That's my one problem with Old Elk. That's my one problem, that's it. Uh, Patrick Fulmer, go ahead and shoot us an email at the contact <clears throat> information on the screen, and I'm um, gonna take it down now. I'm gonna say like toasted marshmallows like, and a hint of leather. Um, see? Yeah. <sighs> like it, that smells good. Mmm. Yeah, that's a high proof. That's like buttered popcorn. It's so buttery up front. I'm getting like peach. I know, but have you drank it yet? Mmm. Wow. Really? It's like buttered popcorn. It's savory, almost like steak. That's weird. It's like savory like meat. Damn, was that dry. Yep. My lips literally stuck to my teeth there for a second. <laughs> Your whole body just shutting down. Back the throat really gets the, uh, the proof on that one. Let's see. Hmm. Dude, all I needed to do to, hmm. to, to get rid of all that buffering was restart OBS. That's all I needed to do. That's what fixed it. All right, moving on. OBS saved me some face. Yeah. If I would have known that the camera wasn't rolling, I would have been swearing at you so much harder. Yeah, I didn't do it on purpose, but I did feel bad. All righty then. Patrick Fulmer, that was a cheers to you, sir. Thank you very much. This does have a little bit of that buttery, popcorn-y. Dude, it's, it is like fresh popped butter popcorn. And toasted marshmallows. A little, but I think there's also like a little bit of a grain note on the, on the nose too. Just a tiny bit. Oh, the Smoke Whiskey Review said the Old Elk has high malted barley mash bill like as a, well. Like a caramel popcorn. Like a nice fresh drizzle of caramel on there. I think you enjoy it more than I do. That one's different. The reason I started this... Proof it so fucking high on that one. The reason I started the sentence that I started when I was talking about you, me picking out whiskeys you like, is because the nose is way... It's like leaning on a floral aspect. It is. The first time I smelled it. It reminds me more of like a uh, blend. Yeah, it is. No, it's leaning on a floral. Uh, nope. Not. <sighs> Drinks like fire. Finson. Thank you for the super chat, sir. He said, let's go, boys. Long pour time. Listen, if you want me to long pour some shit, I won't spin this wheel on long pour. That's up to you. You pick and you put it in chat. You want a spin or a long pour, you, you get what you want. All right? You get what you want here. Over in this community. Okay. Except we're going to keep drinking on the bottle. <sighs> yep. We're going to do that. Guy Davis said, Dan, please remember that setting next stream. So it, it wasn't the setting. I think the issue was I had started OBS before the internet, like before we got the ethernet stuff set. So it was like broken in a broken state. And then I needed to restart it from the broken state. So I didn't change any settings. So are you done with C? Uh, yeah, I can move on. Oh, I got like a uh, tobacco and uh, like this one seems weird. The salted water. This is D? Yep. Oh, I'm in love with this. Damn. Dude, that is the most Laffy Taffy banana I've ever smelled in my life. Yup. I, 
I'm fat as it gets when it comes to candy. I've eaten as much candy as the next fat person, okay? I have, I've been there, I've done it. Just taking my salted watermelon. La oh, laugh, the most Laffy Taffy banana that's ever been in my nose. And I probably had some the other day. Can't even remember, dude. It smells good. This reminds me of like um, when we first had Jefferson's Ocean. Whoa! That's so crazy. That's so familiar. What is that? That's ripe bananas. That is just ripe bananas with a high proof. What is that? Does that not taste super familiar to you? Hmm. That feels like deja vu. Okay. Here's what I'm going to say. Oh, you know what this could be? Expel 23. I need you to tell us what you want in the Super Chat Showdown. I'm sorry if I missed it. Throw it in chat. So far, there's Old Forester 1920, Elmer T. Lee, and Traverse City Barrel Proof. Let us know. We need a bourbon from you that you want. Um, you know what that kind of reminds me of? What? Your old label, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. No. Nope. Not even remotely close. Like, kind of. I'm saying, like, it's on that line of something like that. See, I so why like I genuinely think it's like two extremes. I think it's a long ways apart. Mm. That's interesting. Mm. I think the proof is there, not not the one thirty six. So that's pretty. She's a high gal. That just rang my tongue out. Are you? What is? I think you're having like a weird. I'm not having the same proof, like experience you are. Oh, you drank uh, like fourteen ounces of Georgie Stag. I drank most of that. Forcefully now. Did you check my gag reflex? Guess what? Still not there. That's all I'll say. I want you to know one thing. Because we kind of got to give Sam a little bit of shit. Because Sam knows that we love her. So we're allowed to give her shit, right? Say me. What'd you say? What? What'd you say? It's all Dan. Sam's the greatest. Mm -hmm. We agree? Sam's mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. So we have to give her shit. Mm -hmm. Is she put in chat? You'll jump on board as soon as I read this comment. I swear to God. She said, if you guys need anything from Kentucky you've never tried... Let me know, I'll help. Okay, Sean's on board. All right, so what? What was that noise? Did you hear that? No. Okay. The camera beeped, I could have sworn. Anyways. You're great. I, you know what, I love a couple things. Hey, you know what I'd like to try? Is old, um, old Fitz 14 years. Yeah. Because we've never or, had uh, it. Do you know what would be great to own? A William Heaven Hill 12 year. I mean, at least thankfully we got to try it. So I can't say we didn't get to try that, but I will say we didn't get to try a 14 year. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Uh, Sam knows we're giving her shit, so it's acceptable. Yes. Honestly, you guys got me one of my will of four years, um, and I'm I'm grateful for that. I, I got two. One. Oh, one, one for uh, Bourbon State. Oh, that's yeah. okay. So. Oh, He's never getting that. <laughs> no, they shipped it to him. Oh. Yeah, they shipped it. They're nice people. They're good people. They're much better people you than You just give them your address? <laughs> she said, LOL, 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 LOL. <laughs> Man. Dude, I don't... Done. I'm done. That is the most banana bread whiskey I've ever had in my life. Banana bread? Warmed up in the microwave with butter spread across it. Real butter. Kerrygold butter. It's, that's exactly what it tastes like. It's not even like an art... Like, this is one of the few whiskeys I've had that I'm like, this is exactly what it tastes like. There's not even a thought process. My brain's like, hey, remember when you eat banana bread all the time? That's why you weigh so much? Or when you put more butter on it than you should have? Just ate banana bread the other day and it doesn't taste anything like that. Okay, dude. We'll see. That's definitely banana bread. Bet you the name of it's not banana bread. I what if, <laughs> Old Forester banana bread store pick. That's what that is. We've had You're all guessing these. that's an Old Forester? Mm, I don't know. I feel like... What do they make that's at that high proof? I don't. I can't tell you because I don't think they do. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. I was like, dude, there's nothing that that's high proof. Um... Oh man, the proof is there for sure, but there's a hell of a lot of banana in that nose and palate, so. I'm leaning towards uh, an Elijah Craig on that one. You think, dude, I think that you're, oh man. Hey man, you do you. It, the weird thing is the experience feels so familiar. I think that's the weirdest part about it. Does, do you think it feels familiar? The whiskey? I mean, we've had all these, apparently. I know, but this one specifically, I don't know, like rings a bell in my head. Apparently, that I can't answer. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. How to do that. 
old old banana bread ten year bottle and bond. Oh saying. fuck! I didn't even think of that. Look what it's called. All right, dude. You ready to go back through mm -hmm. her? Okay. That was me going back through it. So I already had D, and then I'm gonna go to C. Did you even take a break or water? Yeah, no, I've had water in between. I've had two drinks of water, and you're just sitting there just you're talking about fucking banana bread and shit. That's good. And butter. I think that's my favorite one by far. Actually, I don't even think I... I'll go back through them, but I don't think I need to. Did you just... So, was, that the, was that the chair? Yeah. Okay. I'm just checking. For the sake of nosing the rest of these whiskeys, I was just confirming... Hey, bud, I'm going to take a shit on this floor, and it's not going to be the worst thing that's happened in this garage. I saw today. a dead mouse with a thrown-up head once. Okay. I don't know why I'm on C. I'm going to go to D first. There's banana in there, but now I'm getting red fruits. I'll, 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 I'll dissect it a little. I'll pull it apart. Dude, what? That is like a higher proof Elmer T. Lee. What is that? Holy shit. If you... Ugh, if you ever think you smell bananas... Or, sorry, bananas, peanuts, go back to A. I told you. After smelling the rest of these. <laughs> you think this is a Kentucky Barbecue Booker's? No, or whatever backyard barbecue bookers or whatever. Uh, I think the nut yard bookers. The only reason I think that is because I remember you and I both agreeing on that that was like the nuttiest one we had had, out of the ones we had had. ADHD fishing said Sean says water funny. Water? Uh, you do kind of weirdly pull the a out of it. Water. All right. Sorry. I'm going to get some water. Like it. it I have to like. Produce effort to say it the way you say it. Hey, isn't he fucking Canadian? <laughs> no, he lives in, well, kind of. He lives up in the UP. Yeah, he's Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> say A. <laughs> Higher proof Elmer equals Ridgemont Reserve. I don't think we've ever had Ridgemont. Have, neither of us have had Ridgemont, actually. So, Expel said he said we've had these. <clears throat> okay, I'm going Dude, to see. Right. I've just been sitting here nosing them because I know we don't have a lot. C smells really good. I have a really good, good amount left, but I want some for A and B's. C's good. It's that fruity, buttery. Man, that's really good. The I weird like thing it. is the spice on these, you can tell, feels like a proof spice. Mm -hmm. Definitely, there's proof in all these. I wonder if one of these is a 1792. Is that full proof? Maybe. Yeah, I mean, Man, I'm starting to, I wonder if one of these is 1792 full proof. I probably can't leave that. Um, oh my gosh, dude. This smells like a Cinnabon. I'm back on B. Oh, I was like, uh, what? Chad Holly, what's up, everybody? I'm there, fashionably late as usual. So are we. So oh. when it's coming back to it, oh. there's like darker notes to this all of a sudden. When Which I came one? B, when I came back to it, it's got like a bunch more like darker notes in the back. This is a pecan Cinnabon. Dude, I'm telling you right. Oh, it, there's a lot of cinnamon on the palate of that. Mmm. Mmm. It's got that. Uh, it feeds out into that like dry oak. Do you get the cinnamon though, mm -hmm. like up front? It like, goes right like away. cinnamon right in the dry oak. Yeah, I agree with you. Adam, got you got a you got somebody that's on your side, okay? What's up? And I want you to recognize the fact that there's a person out of the 62 watching now on your team. Go you, Adam Gaston. For Sean's epic nosing of Hancock's. Look it up. <laughs> was that where I poured 18 or whatever? It was like 16. Damn. Can you imagine if we did that now? I'd I be like, still do it. No, but you know what I'm saying? If we did that, this table's much bigger mm -hmm. and we have way more whiskey. I would, and we're way more out of control. Oh. So I would have been like, I'll pour 50 whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have that many glasses. <laughs> we figure it out, dude. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I feel very confident to be able to pick out. I don't know if it's our bottle. If you want to watch Sean's heyday <laughs> in whiskey, you got to go back to our Hancock's video. And there's there's something going on with our Hancock's that like hits Sean in a weird way. We each have those whiskeys. Hancock's is yep. one of them for you. Mm -hmm. And it hits Sean in a weird way in which he can pick it out out Joseph of a pretty Magnus solid lineup. Yeah, Magnus is mine. Um, I yeah. definitely get some way, way wrong in there. 
Because I think like the the blatant store pick that we have is like rhetoric, or not blatant's. Um... Yeah, but here's the thing: none of that mattered. Yeah, you were allowed to get them wrong because your only goal was to pick one. Yeah, and that was Hancock's. And then I thought it was something else. It's like, oh, it's this. I came back to it. It was like, oh, never mind. I, I wanted know, of course you it's this. so badly to be wrong. And unfortunately, you went, you know what? It's definitely this one. Yeah. You sure? And you're like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh. <laughs> All right. Gosh, hey. dude. No, I don't Shout out to Adam J- Gaston. Thank you for the super chat, man. We appreciate it. I can't even Are you fucking. Name? I'll go back to A. Okay, man. Uh, B is like toasty, bready. I think I have my order. We're probably going to be different. I wonder if this is. I wonder if this is foolproof. I don't ever remember foolproof ever being nutty at fuck. Like that's damn near peanut butter now. Like you might need to fucking have an EpiPen around when you drink this. This smells like peanut shells. You think it's boogers? I have to. What else would be that, that high of proof that's nutty? Knob Creek store like a one twenty. Like not like uh, I don't get that. I don't know. Wax. I don't get that signature. Yeah, Knob Creek. Okay, let's do it. Let's get into it. Some Knob Creek B. What's your guys' least favorite bourbon in Ryan your collection? Uh, our tainted as shit Peerless. Peerless uh, isn't no, my least favorite. No, I would favorite. rather drink that Peerless than the Balcones. Balcones chocolate rye or whatever. And then uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my least favorite bio. bourbon is probably somewhere around the Ohio Cleveland bourbon, or yeah, what else? Um, Jim Beam, or <laughs> hear me out, Jim Beam White Label, Ohio Cleveland bourbon, or Cleveland. Nope. Uh, peated bourbon from James is uh, Riddle. James or J something. Two James. Two James. Two James is uh, it's in Michigan. JT Riddle or JR Riddle? Yep. I think it's JR Riddle. JR, that's what it is. Uh, yeah, Those would be our, fit, our oh, least. Oh, it's bad because it, it doesn't want to be a bourbon and it doesn't want to be a scotch. And it's not done well to be somewhere in the middle. Yep. So you get the worst characteristics for us personally um, out of either bourbon or scotch put together. And they just create bad whiskey. Yeah. Okay. You want to rank them? Yeah. We'll rank them then we'll go over the answers. You're ranked already? Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, is it? Yeah. Show of hands in the chat. Who's fucking shocked Dan is? And... We got some time. <laughs> what do you guys want to talk about? What is this nutty? Or what is this like? Um, I think, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to think of guesses now. Okay. That's fair. I think there's a little, I think the banana might fall, come with a youngness indeed. But I like it. Mm. That's good. I think this is more complex than D. C is more mm-hmm. complex than D. The proof seems drastically higher. But I don't know if that's because I just went back and back or not. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Then I have to go back again. It's funny that it's got hot dog water out of this one. Cleveland Kid 66 said, no love for Seatown. Have you had Cleveland, Ohio bourbon? Now, open it and let it sit for a couple months and go back, revisit. Because when it opened up, it got way worse. <clears throat> God, way Fuck worse. Fuck that company. Walton in Montreal in chat. What is going on, Swami? How is it going, man? He said, hello, Sean and Dan, a.k.a. Pitcher and Catcher Whiskey. Dude, that's pretty solid, I'm going to be honest. I actually, so... You pro- I don't. You might not even know this part. The people who have uh, two James or Riddle or whatever it's called also have Catcher's Rye. Yeah. You've had it in the. We just talked about it. You put it in the comment. Pretty good. <clears throat> Thank you for the comment. Thank you for the super chat, man. Appreciate it. My local distillery has Peter Bourbon, and I think it's absolutely delicious. Listen, it's not necessarily the fact that Peter Bourbon is bad. Probably. And they just didn't put out a good product. I it's feel. just. I don't think it's great, man. Long pour hot dog water into Sean's mouth. What? Okay, hold on. Dude, this has just turned into the wild, wild west. Like, that doesn't even have anything to do with whiskey at all. It's because I said I had to go back to this because all of a sudden they just got hot dog water. Oh, out of okay. It. Like, okay. What the fuck? Okay, that was. Yeah. Vaughn Finson threw that in there and I'm like, dude, this channel's turning into something that's not. Like, or something it might be, but. <laughs> all right. 
Do you fucking have yours? G. Yet? Sylvan chat said, "What is going?" On? Said, "Cheers, huh? What's going on, man?" Hmm? You have yours picked yet? That's a no. That's a hard no. I wonder if that's like an Elijah Craig. Let's see. Feels more like a stereotypical bourbon. Higher proof. I'm not telling you my guesses. Okay, whatever. But listen, you're the last person I'll use guesses from. Trust me. And you don't have to worry about me copying you. Okay. It's starting to smell like Johnny Drum the more and more I smell it, which is weird. I think it's because I keep going back and forth, and one of them, like, it's an influence thing. It, um, it, it makes you pick up on smells that aren't in the other one, and mm. just highlights the shit out of them. And I think that's why I went back and forth between them, and I was like, that smells like hot dog water, what that's the fuck? Banana, nut bread, cinnamon, nutmeg, spices. Dude, if that's Johnny Drum, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bust all over the place if that's Johnny that's, Drum. Johnny Drum is not that high a proof. Okay. Fine, what's the other one that's higher proof? Because there's three of them. There's Pure Kentucky, Johnny Drum, and Old Bardstown. One of them's higher proof. Pick that one. I'm just saying if it is. I don't, you know. It's not. Right. Holy shit. A and B. With A and B. Uh-huh. Dude, where's William Davalure, dude? I haven't had one perfume commercial tonight. He left because you took too goddamn long. Mm, I haven't seen him in here. People are just literally watching you do exactly what we've been doing for the last half an hour, <laughs> but with more bullshit in between. Yeah, you're not exactly wrong. I don't want to rush it, though. It's kind of a perfection thing. It's kind of a everybody's waiting on my word thing. No, no, yeah, everyone is because we do a show together. I'm just gonna sit here and eat George T. Stag pretzels. Okay, B is definitely in front of A. Okay. Okay. I'd like to write this down. There are four. Yep. But yeah. I don't wanna. Okay, so I'm leaving them in order for right now, but I want you to remind me B so, is definitely in front of A. Okay, just remind me of that. You have more A and B's to do? Yeah. You shouldn't. Okay, hold on. Wait. Do you do it the shittiest? Okay, C is definitely in front of A. Do you do the shittiest system ever? So it goes. Start with your best two and A and B those. Uh, okay. Right? Uh, I didn't so that'll that. give you first and second, right? And then take the other two and A and B those, and then you figure out what's third and fourth, and then all you have to do is do one more A and B of two and three. <laughs> Dude, okay. I think ADHD fishing banned somebody. So I banned that guy long ago. Too much Frenchie. <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about, but if you kick somebody the fuck out, well done, dude. Probably William Especially if they, Yeah. Oh, it is, dude, because he's French. <laughs> Poor William Daveler, dude. Let him back in. All right. David Hatton with the yeah, super chat. To the per what? ADHD fishing is now a Patreon. What? Yeah, look at that. Dude, you didn't have to do that, man. Listen, we've talked about it, dude. We still love you either way. We appreciate it. Thank you. We got a few new patrons. Did yeah. you, got it, you got it up or no? Oh, you just had an email? Okay. I was like, we got a few new ones, dude, and we appreciate all the support on there. We're like on our way up with the gold. The old gold. Can you do? Can you mark that as on red, please? Yeah, I will. So, I always do. Mm, you don't always. No, almost always. Can we get to David Hatton Super Chat? The old support in the chat. Can you give me a TLDR on what that email is about? Uh, Donnie Webb didn't get his coin. Dude, it took three weeks to get your coin. That's Lennox Hat. Mm. It took three weeks to get your coin last time. Well, don't dox people, bro. What's that mean? Don't put out their information. Oh, shit. Cut. Cut. Thank God. Thank God I Whiskey She Wines already did the same thing to the same person. Somehow. I swear to God, I was watching one of their live streams. They're like, so we're so sorry we did that. And I just did the exact same thing to the same person. No, say you're sorry. Person, I'm not going to say the name again. Person that Sean, I didn't say your name out loud. He said it. I apologize that Sean said your name on the live stream and that I equated those two things together. Mm -hmm. So like if we each said this separately, fine. You match them together. I'm so sorry. I forgot. Like I'm used to being able to cut shit out. Yeah. That didn't happen. Bottle fun. David Hatton, thank you for the super chat. Let me, uh, person that sent us an email, I'm so sorry. Sean did it. 
he's on, dude. He's back on my team. Yeah, but if I just randomly say your name, no one still knows who you are. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. You're not wrong. I, was I just... can say anyone's random name. No one knows who they actually are. So the bottle fund is currently uh, Wild Turkey Decades. Oh, yeah. We should be getting three quarters of the way there. Yeah, we're like around $100 right now for the Wild Turkey Decades bottle fund. Not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. You so, got your shit done yet? Oh, shit. Okay, so I said B was better than A, and C oh. was better than A. Yeah, so is, why? is okay. D better than A? D's better than A. A's last place. Okay. Do you remember your placing? Yeah. Yeah, but I told you how to do this. Take one and two. ADHD Fishing said Dan earns a 300 second timeout. I, I, feel like, <laughs> I feel like you're not wrong. Okay. Take one and two. Okay. A and For, B then. It goes. Nope. I'm, I'm good. I'm set. Okay. What is your last place? A. And my last place is A. Or was it D? It's A. Okay, my last place is A. I think that is A Booker's. Okay, did he label them one, two, three, four? Yep. And you poured A as one? We always have A, B, C, D. I know. I just yeah. want to know that you poured yeah, yeah. A is one, D one, is two, four. One, two, three, four, yeah. Okay. Four. No, A, one. <laughs> what the fuck? We literally just covered this. <laughs> a, one. Do you want to call me champ, champ, champ? How many champs do I have now? I don't fucking know. Old Ezra Barrel Proof. We talked about it could be that. No, I said it could be that because it's a lower proof than Booker's, but nutty as shit. Yeah. Not we. I don't include yourself. Do not include yourself in this. I said, yeah, I thought about that, but I thought it drank a little bit hotter than that. Okay. I know, but you thought about that after I said it. I'm like, that's what I think it is. And you went, you know what, Dan's right all the time? Okay. I think he's right. Number two for you. Wait, what place? Third? Yes. Okay, A's out, right? Yep. We both gave that last. Third for me is D. Okay. So fourth. Wait, <laughs> holy shit. Third for me is this one. D. Okay. Good? What's your third? Already put it up there. B. I don't know what the fuck you're doing. Because you've read it, so all no, your no, shit's so tainted I know, now. I'm telling, but it's not tainted. I, already, yeah. I told you, I said the placement before we t- opened the note. You never said any of your shit. All you said was, what was better than A? You said, B's better than A. No. C's better than A. Uh-huh. D's better than A. So and I know you're said, fucking... So that's A's last, dumbass. Holy shit, it's not that hard. So no one knows what your third place is. Yeah, bud. This is first, this is second, this is third. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so I have... Third. Okay. Well, I don't second, know. Second. First. This is why it's confusing. These say one, two, three, four. You label them A, B, C, D, and we're going first, second, third, fourth place. That's why it's confusing. You picking that up yet? No. It's so simple. So one is fourth. Do Do you see why it's confusing? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what's your third place? Third place would be number two. Okay. I can make this super your simple. Your third for place you. is Russell's Reserve Single Barrel. Okay. I thought it was a Knob Creek. You thought this one? You thought B was not Creek? Mm-hmm. What did I guess on B? I don't, I don't think I guessed on B. I don't think any of us said Russell's. No, I didn't guess on B. Okay. Okay. My third place is number four. Four. Yes. Jack, Jack, I... Jack Daniels Barrel Proof. Okay. I wanted to guess that. What's your, I'm sorry, what's your fourth? Number what's your four? D? I'm sorry. What's your D? That's second place. Okay. So second place for you is Jack Daniels. Barrel proof, 66.85%. Shit hot gal. It's interesting. That one was, that is a high ass fucking proof. So that's your third place. Yeah. So you put Russell's Reserve as your number one then. I put Russell's as my number one. Okay, what's, what's C? Yeah. Your number one? Yeah. Your first place? Yes. C, my second place? Yeah. Called it. Elijah Craig. Thank you for sitting through the biggest migraine in my fucking life. I you could have not made this any more fucking difficult. I called two of those. Back on the champ, 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 champ train. I called the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Fucking champ shit. We can end this whenever. I, I called an Ezra Barrel Proof double champ shit. I went double champ in the same whiskey war. 
just <laughs> Which one's your favorite, though? Elijah Craig. Elijah Craig? That's solid. Which one, which Elijah Craig was it? Batch 51, or B518. What about? We haven't had, oh, we have a little bit of a lower proof. We have, no, bud, we've never had the 518. We've had the 519. Okay. That upset you? No. <laughs> What's not a lower proof? 66.7 ABV. Okay, so I thought D was Holy Elijah shit. Craig barrel proof. Which was also 66%. You thought what? I'm sorry, bud. The Jack Daniels was. And that's the one Which is also 66. I thought that one was the Elijah Craig. So the actually the lowest one was the Russells, proof-wise. Oh, so you a bitch. Yeah. It makes sense. Well, I said that was my favorite one. Yeah, exactly. You Which is interesting, because that was 110 proof, and I always say the best proof between 110 and 115. Is that what you always said? I literally say that. You can go look back at our videos, and I've said that before. And that was obviously well, true tonight. You can go find that for me. I've said it before, I know that. Because we like Rare Breed, we like Old Forster 1920. Mm -hmm. We like President's Choice. Mm -hmm. Dan wins, it's that simple, Sean. I think that's true. Do you think that's true? No. You don't? No. You put Russell's last or second to last? Second to last. That's embarrassing, because Russell's is delicious. So I took two single barrels over a uh, blended product. What was your first place? Elijah Craig? Yep. Not a single barrel, so don't don't say that again. In and out? Bat. I don't want up. They're, they're bash proof. They're called barrel proofs, but they yeah. are they are blended. Yeah. They're they're the releases are labeled in batches, but they're not no. single barrels. Is it Jack Daniels though? Or is that just barrel proof too? Just barrel proof. So they're all blended. <laughs> no, the Russell's is a barrel proof or a single barrel, sorry, because it's a store pick. Oh. So oh. the only one is a See? Russell store pick. I didn't know that information. I just found out too. Because you just read that? Yeah. I didn't like that store pick. Total Wine Dallas store pick. Hmm. It's interesting that I said, man, I wonder if this is Elijah Craig barrel proof though, isn't it? Can we give me a little credit? I know you're pissed, but you give me a little credit? No. Okay. It was worth a shot. All credit went out after like 10 minutes when I got maced in the face. <laughs> it was worth a shot. Adam Gaston, numbers are hard. Hashtag keep engineering. Because <laughs> I think he was, somebody above here said, wasn't Dan supposed to be an engineer? <laughs> Let me find it here. Malty Montreal said fight. We usually just lay on top of each other. We, uh, uh, I tried to like not move these around to keep them as simple as possible for Dan. But honestly, if, it, if this didn't, if this would have said A, B, C, D, it would have been easier. I should have just wrote it. Down but for we you. couldn't look at them. Oh. That was the problem. You could have just handed me the paper at that point in time. I'd write A, B, C, D on there for you, and then your little brain would just be able to equate one A. Mike M said, I think he asked which one was which. Expel just put them in chat if you're wondering why A, B, C, or D are right now. Old so, Ezra 7. Russell Reserve store pick. Yep. Elijah Craig. Yep. Barrel proof. And then Jack Daniels barrel proof. Yep. There you go. Thank you, Expel 23. Listen. These were these were solid. So yeah. I put the old Russell's first, Elijah second, Jack Daniels third, <laughs> Ezra fourth. I was trying to remember what letters I put. The more that's interesting. You you and I were actually pretty far off, and I, usually on barrel proofs we're not that far off. Um, I'm not surprised that we both put the old Ezra seven last. I mean, last time we've had that. that. Yeah, last time we had it, we both were like... Mm. Because I just put that in a... Um, what's funny is out of all of these, you thought the one that we're like, oh, why is this case so fucking familiar? The only one we've had recently. Re I mean, because we haven't had five. Sure, years. I agree. So we had the old Ezra 7 not that long ago yeah. in one of our Whiskey yeah. Wars. And it, we both put that dead last because like, holy shit, I don't remember it being that bad. So here's the thing. I remember it not drinking that I either. said the Jack Daniels seems familiar. The Jack Daniels is by far the most different of the three, though. No. Like, the most, like, all, like weirdly bourbony, off-profile. So, I feel like that's a fair thing to call familiar, because it's so much different. I like that one. You know what I'm saying? It was good. It was good. Yeah, it was definitely it was good. good. We have... Actually, what is our proof on ours? We got Super Chat. Um, it's on the shelf. Uh, left? Yep. What proof is that? 
It is 65.65. .65. Okay, ours is 65.65. So they're damn close. They're within a percent. Well, righty then. Adam Gaston, like I mentioned, numbers are hard. Hashtag keep engineering. Lynx Cat said, you give IT a bad name. Listen, Lynx Cat, I'm, I'm at least halfway decent at my job, all right? Outside of that, I mean, yeah. <laughs> you guys should have seen the video of us uh, trying to get a uh, an axle on a Dan side by side. Oh, most of them saw it on Instagram. Thank you, Adam Gaston, for the support. Oh my gosh. Are they different? This is so much better. You pick our pour. Adam, let us know what you want us to drink next, man. Actually, now's a good time for that. Mm. Pick something for us to drink. Thank you for the super chat, man. For real. Thank you guys for the support. So, uh, we probably haven't talked about it yet, but uh, the money from mm. the super chats and ad revenue, and I, I know we've talked about the coins, but super chat, ad revenue, and coins at this point, uh, depending on what the super chat lands on there, but if it's not basically bottle funder sample, it, the donations are going towards the Texas trip for the Whiskey Tribe event in October. So not our second fuck up trip. No, we're paying for that out of pocket. So already paid. Yeah, that did not get paid for with any YouTube money whatsoever. That got paid for out of uh, the old "you guys are dumbasses, fix it your shit" uh, bank accounts. And so yeah, but needless to say, the Texas trip in October for the Whiskey Tribe event. Go to the Bastards Ball and hang out hopefully with uh, those guys. That would be a good time. Is where everything's going. And other YouTubers. Yeah. We've got a uh, tons of YouTubers. Air, Airbnb. Yeah. I'm gonna. We're just gonna turn to Party Central. It's be a good time. Dan's credit card. I, don't I get a it, dude. It's it's that is that for sure though. You don't think they're the, they're similar? That's outrageous to think, mm. not think they're similar. I think that one's better. Pretty close. This one's more banana y, actually. I don't know what you think banana is. I don't know, but everybody in the chat agreed with me, so. You get it? Mm. Four roses, small batch select. Alright, do it. What's that? You just, you're not going to say anything about the whiskey. You just drank, and then you just didn't say anything. Oh. Here, let me A-B them for the next hour and a half. I'll pull a Dan. No, this is our next drink, dummy. Holy shit, we used all those runs in that Yep. Expel, thank you for the samples, man. Thank you for the old Whiskey War experience we just had. They are 1% different. I feel like that one drinks, um, I don't know, it was my that second I drink. That I completely agree with. It feels like it drinks like a lower proof. Yep, I, that is the one thing that I would say it seems Maybe that's very why different. I think it's better, just because it doesn't not, destroy me. Yep. But I put it number two. I like the flavors on it. How many one? Oh, wow. Well. How much do you want? I'm good, I guess. Okay. I know. Uh, Expel 23. Right. Jack Daniels is banana bliss for me. I get banana on Old Forster sometime too. Hey. On all the Old Forster, I get that. No, you don't. You've never said banana on 1920 ever. Or 1910. Every single time. So on 186, we definitely get it. On 1920, I've not heard either of us say that. What'd you call it? What? 1920 or 1910? Then before that? 186. Okay. What? I thought you just said on 186. I was like, which one's that, man? <laughs> oh, come on. Dream Man KY, hello all. I'm late. Dude, we were late. We got something in common. We were just hanging out. We just finished our whiskey war. Um, I, at some point in the whiskey war, uh, correctly identified two whiskeys. Um, Sean correctly identified a zero. And uh, here we are. So I'm kind of glowing. Um, That's the amount of semen that you used to wash your face with today. <clears throat> wish I could, you know what I said? I wish you could get the Four Roses single barrel select too, or small batch select. So here's the thing. You're not missing a lot. It's okay. I feel like the more we get into Four Roses stuff, the more it kind of, I smell it and go, that smells just, like Four Roses. Do you feel like I'm, you're starting to kind of like pick up their profile a little bit? Like, you feel like you could just pick up a normal single barrel and just be like, all right, that's, I don't like about the single thing. barrel that much. That's the thing. I like the small batch more. It's than like the 10 barrel. and this is 6 or something like that. 
of the rolled recipes. Yeah. Single barrels ten. Yeah. Oh, I don't have any idea, man. Or no, no, no. The the single barrel is like the one that they always put out. I was talking the regular, um, small batch. regular small batch is oh, ten. Okay. Um, and this is I six. said that wrong. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, so that's the normal one's ten. I think okay. this one's six. Sure. And I just, it's slightly elevated small batch. I get that. As for what you're getting for price tag, Raider D, stuff like that, I don't know. You're probably just better off finding a, just a store pick single barrel. Cause I don't know how many of those have we had and have really enjoyed. Yeah, if you can find them, for sure. The uh, Chris Sprang says, Price them in those four roses notes. Guys, looking forward to the tasting. I cannot wait for that. I'm going to be so blown up. So, uh, just so everybody in chat knows what's going on, so we're about to do, Chris and Brandon, Brandon's in chat all the time too, uh, they have collected all of the 10 Four Roses recipes for the single barrel store picks. And so they have all 10 of them. They went and opened all 10 at the same time. So all 10 have had the same amount of air. So uh, it's like mint cherry. Not this weekend, but next weekend, we're gonna go hang out with them. And we're gonna do all ten of them in one day and die. Probably, but we'll film it. There'll be a video. It'll be a Thursday video. So probably in a couple, no, two or least two three or th weeks. Yeah, two or three, thir two or three or four Thursdays. There'll be like a <laughs> ten recipe four roses video. Well, we're not gonna be there in two weeks, though. So that wouldn't make any sense. Yeah. Mm, time travels a bit. Pretty sure. Well, maybe it's happening in two weeks. I'll have to check the calendar here real quick. Uh. I like it the like I didn't really like this bottle when we opened it. It has a pretty distinct. It is a week and a half away. So yeah, I, I guess we could is. have it. It's not this weekend, but next. No, I don't know when it was. Oh, okay. I thought it was three weekends. Okay, away. no. I just know every weekend is full. Brandon said yellow labels all ten small batch and small batch select are both six different. Mixes. There you go. So. Dude, OG Brick 420 says, that sounds so strange to have so many, but if it works, I agree with you. I think you know, what they do is make it confusing <laughs> as shit. So I constantly am like, Sean, what was that recipe you were looking for? He's like, it's uh, OESQ or whatever the fuck it is. I don't know. I still don't know what it is to this moment. So, And then I'm like, all right, cool. And then literally two hours later, I'm like, hey, there's a Four Roses on an auction. What was the recipe you were looking for? He's like, OES. B and I'm like, all right, cool. Man. Not one of them. <laughs> and then, like, literally a day later, I'm like, hey, what was that recipe? It doesn't. I've asked him 300 times, and it just doesn't. There's only. It, I mean, he literally has a 20 percent chance. The 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 frustrating part about it is it the fuck fuck me right. So, anyways, the frustrating part about it is none of them stick in your mind because they're dumb names. I get the labeling system, but two of the letters are always the fucking same. Yep. Why don't we remove those? Oh, it is. Guess what? There's an OB, there's an OQ, there's an OA, there's a... Do that. Do fucking that, though. Oh, is always the same, though. Then don't do that. <laughs> then B do and e BQ change. and BE and BA yeah, yeah. and B fucking F and B whatever else. Like, just do two letters. Why is there four if two can't change? Um, because it has to do with the distillery. No, it doesn't. Because they're <laughs> always... They're consistent. Yeah. So why are they in there? To make it longer and harder to remember? Uh, they mean something. They do. No, they, they do. do mean something. Yeah. But what they mean cannot change. I thought it was distillery. Which can't change. I mean, unless they open a new place. I guess, but they have it. So, so, I don't know. They tell you what they all mean, but I thought one was distillery, and I thought that was the O. Somebody said Buffer Town. All right. Okay, it looks good. We've dropped almost no frames, so that might be your internet. We're, we're at a green. It's good. Or green. My eyes almost feel at about 90%. It's so unfortunate nobody will ever see Sean crying from with George C. Stagg in his eyeballs. I, I felt bad for like at least five minutes. And I generally don't feel bad for Sean. You should feel bad for longer than that. It was <laughs> so painful. You just sprayed my eye first though. Yeah, but your eyes are closed. That's that's true. But so your are, eyes are closed. Your spray was a far more direct stream. Okay, okay. So let's put yours it like was this. more penetrating. Would you rather 
close your eyes okay. and then dunk now it in you're something? Right. Yeah, you're right. Or would you like to get maced by that same thing while your eyes are open? No, I get it. I agree. Because mine... put it that way. Well, look, our, our flag is finally fucking dry now. I don't think it's ever gonna be the same. Yeah. Hold on. So. So you knew it was coming. Mine was just like, whoa, my eyes are on fire all of a sudden. This is not good. I'm surprised I didn't crack my head on that fucking table. That would have been... <laughs> Did you see that? No. Whoa, I almost dropped a Glenn. And was... that, at least it's not an engraved one, bud. Uh, we're almost out of this. We keep praying in this. We. Morgan Town says, BJ, what are your thoughts on Stag Jr. versus ECBP? Uh, that's going to be personal preference. It's, no, no, no. It's not. Stag Jr. 9 is better than any ECBP ever made, period. Hands down. It's not a debate. It's not an opinion. It's a fact. You haven't had every Elijah Craig. I don't fucking have to. Okay. Buffalo, Tra the Buffalo Trace makes better whiskey than Heaven Hill, period. Right? We all agree here. Everybody in the chat agrees. Okay. There's 63 people. They all agree. It seems like a pretty bold blank statement that nope. they're going to kill you for. It's a general statement. That's true. Right? That makes sense? So, because of that, Buffalo Trace's best whiskey is better than Elijah Craig's Heaven Hill's best whiskey. Right? So, based on that logic, the best Stag Jr. is better than the best Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. It's easy. It's very easy to narrow down. Which one did you guys... I like both. What's more often than not. Um, some more than others. I've had a couple now. Eh, there's not a lot, a lot that I don't dislike. The A119 that we have, I'm not a super a, big fan of. A118. 18, is yeah. that what we have? Okay. We don't love that one. Not a super big fan of that, but I mean, on the same token, the the C119, or 918, there you go. Or C918, yeah. 918, yeah. yeah. Also um, confusing. Yeah. Yeah. Love the shit out of that one. Yeah, it's really good. Um, and that's a difference of a couple months, basically. Yeah. It's a difference between releases. It's yeah. one release to the next. Yeah. 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 Uh, um, the stags seem to be much more even kilt, I think. You think so? Yeah, I think so. Dude, I think my release... So I think my batch 11... Yours opened up a shit ton. I there. know, but I think my 11 compared to your 7 or a 9 isn't close, though. Do you know what I mean? You're I, taking, like, the best that people, like, I universally know one, say. But a lot of people say 918's the best. Mm. So we're kind of taking one of the best easy BPs. Okay. At least, I should say that bef since Pirate Bottle. Okay. Probably there are some better pirate models, but ECBB is a good barrel proof product. I don't think you can't go wrong. If you can't find Stag Junior, pick one up. They're not gonna in the same profiles or anything like that. No, they're but different. they're both just good barrel proof whiskey. They're both really good deals at sixty bucks. Yeah. I think that the ECBP probably easier to find. hundred percent. I think that Buffalo Trace is better than Heaven Hill. Yeah. There we are. And burning that bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Heaven Hill hasn't sent us shit. Okay. Neither is Buffalo Trace. Yeah, they have. Oh, they did. Sorry, they yep. didn't big time us. Uh, we were big time. Weirdly enough, companies. yeah. <laughs> weirdly enough. What's the name of the banana bread one? It was Jack Daniels Barrel Proof. Yep. Kevin. Uh, Patrick Fulmer agreed. Four Rose is too complicated. Just hit us with some good shit. That's the thing. Um, the all of these in all this is the fourth rose release and and i like that idea of it it's kind of like the whiskey row series for old forcer i don't hate technicalities the issue is i don't hate cool shit right it does. four roses this is the fourth rose i like that uh old forcer 1910 was the the finale of the whiskey row series i mm -hmm. like that a lot mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i don't need 300 options of letters, dude. I feel like I'm trying to hack into my house on my code after I drank too much out here. That's because you're shitty at IT. Yeah, dude, sure, whatever, dude. So anyways. It's not even locked. It's just <laughs> That's the issue. You didn't try to open it first. But it's like, listen, how many combinations could there be? 4,000? 10. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but two of the letters don't change, but they could could change otherwise why would they put them in there so there could be a lot more than 10 10 i don't know how many to be exact but well it depends how many letters you use jam man ky ecbp is way older it is it's 12 years sag jr is usually around eight or nine yeah guess what i've had better now hear me out here 
I've had better MGP barrels that were 10 or 11 years than like 12 or 13 years. <clears throat> Not fair. That's an asterisk. Why? Because like, we talking cast strength MGP? Yeah. I just destroys most things though. No, no, I'm not comparing uh, MGP to Sag Junior. You're just trying to say age. Yeah, I'm saying I've had better MGP that's 10 or 11 God, than had... 12 or 13 MGP across the board. I don't think age is the determining factor as to whether whiskey's good or not. Let me put it that way. That's a clearer way to put it. Yeah. Um. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Morgan Downton, well, there you go. Thanks for your thoughts. Now, honestly, if, if I'm not trolling and not fucking with you guys, I like Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. I think for $60, it's a really good whiskey. I think I personally like Buff Buffalo Trace Profile is generally sweeter and less grainy than Heaven Hills and across a handful of whiskeys, um, which fits my palate better. I think I like Rittenhouse is pretty grainy, right? Oh, okay. Elijah Craig is very oaky. Yeah. Not as sweet. Buffalo Trace is way sweeter than Elijah Craig. Like the Mash Bill 2 stuff is generally a lot sweeter um, than Elijah Craig's I feel like that's kind of we've walked away from a lot of bookers. Yeah. Um, we've kind of moved up in getting away from that. Like, I don't know, man. Bookers is such a, like, cookie cutter flavor profile for me. I think if you want... You get something a little bit different in the, the beginning and you get a nutty finish. I think if you want to get kicked in the mouth, bookers is a good place to start. <laughs> Dude, Booker's is going to take your balls, twist them, and kick you in the teeth at the same time. And Booker's is a motherfucker. It just is. That's, I, that's kind of the point of it. I'm not saying it's good or bad. I'm just saying that's the experience. <laughs> I'm just telling you, dude. I don't know, man. That's Are you speaking it. from, like, uh, past experiences here? You pay someone for that? Can you imagine opening no. up an evening with Booker's? There you go. Somebody... You walk into the bar and go, here you go, man, try that one. And it's Booker's and you go, whoo, shit. The first thing I drank yeah. before, like when we shot our Elijah Craig Barrel Proof was at Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Sure, but I don't think Elijah Craig Barrel Proof will murder your tongue like Booker's will. It does at 130 whatever fucking proof that was. Super, okay. Well, did you go into the one? You didn't go into the 136 first. No. Okay, you, but still 131. Oh yeah, that five proof. Two and a half percent. <laughs> okay. I got it for you. I uh, I just would love to murder him. I'm a little sad. You guys will never see what happened. <sighs> I don't know, sipping. Um, you're talking the single barrel select. Mm. I don't know, it's single bear select. Shades of dive do right. Oh, the the regular single barrel. Okay. I don't know. At that point, you might as well just go find a, a regular store pick and get a single barrel. Um, those are probably up there for my favorite value if you can find it. Oh my god, did you even try? Pete. Try one. To pee? Yeah, pee. I feel like you just zipped down your pants. Just... I pushed as hard as I could, dude. That's not what you're supposed to uh, do. Regular, I was just talking about, like, uh, they were talking, uh, uh 50? Cast, cast, cast strength MGP over almost anything. Oh, that's true. Uh, the MG, MGP just went, <laughs> dude. You pull it, we're gonna open. Okay. On this fucking live stream. I just fucking can't with you right now. What are you doing? Because, um, yeah. Uh, Sipsy was talking about the regular sip, uh, single barrel select. But I was saying that. It's not single barrel select, it's just single barrel. What's single barrel select? Small batch select. No, it says single barrel select. Oh, store picks? It just says single barrel select. Isn't that what this is? You think about four rows of single barrel select. And I thought that's what this was. Minutes. But he said it gives you a chance to try different recipes, which means he's talking about the. Oh, bucket. regular single barrels. No, the store picks. Yeah. Regular single barrels. They're not regular if they're it's store a regular barrel. single barrel. I don't think I don't think this is regular single barrel in my mind because I think this is like the why would I buy this single barrel? Because store picks exist, and I'd sure. much rather just try any store pick. Sure. Um, because yeah. like Agreed. that for me is probably one of the best values in whole whiskey when you can find a, a really good um, well not even that just a store pick of four roses. You know what I want to do. I wasn't even. Gonna, I wasn't even, I'm already there. I wasn't even gonna open this bottle. 
I know. Ever. Dan had a money making scheme here. <laughs> no, it was, it was a money recovery scheme. <laughs> it wasn't making, it was recovering. This is Traverse City Barrel Proof Hooray. What's funny is like, oh, you didn't get through that one. Oh, oh that was your number one, too. Bourbon Junkies, Sean, Dan is whining tonight. What am I whining about? I don't know, dude. I did. I, What's no, funny is, <laughs> I bitch about I have so much more to bitch about than you. Sean, yeah, if you guys know our past comments, Sean's obviously the one that bitch. Patrick Fulmer, you didn't wash your hand. I didn't touch my dick. He's got this weird thing. It's acceptable. I don't touch my I dick when I pee. Yelled at him for years. I do about not this. touch my dick when I pee. He just whips down his pants like he's a toddler. I pull it down to my ankles. I push, and then I pull my pants up. Mm. What What else is there to do? <laughs> Can That's... you imagine in a public bathroom? <laughs> you just I just walk I in. Just imagine you singing. All the way down my ankles, push, and then pull them all the way back up. I just pee outside, dude. There's not a bathroom out here. Oh, oh! This is a Travis City whiskey store pick from the Michigan Bourbon Club. It is five years old. Um, this is MGP. MGP ride. ride. Ninety-five ride. Five. It is fifty-eight point three percent alcohol by volume, single barrel, obviously. Uh, two hundred and sixteen bottles. Fifty. Not bad. I said that. They named it that a spicy a meatball. It's That's got a spicy a meatball. The Homer Simpson thing on the back of her there. Holding a Glen. Oh, he is. I never noticed that. I'm glad you're here, dude. <laughs> okay. Get that for you. Thank you. Dude, I'm glad that people are sticking up for me right now and chat about peeing outside. I bought a house specifically so I could pee outside. Yeah, I live in the middle of nowhere and oh, still can't pee, pee outside. I pee outside of your house all the time. Well, when it's dark, yeah, I'll let it rain. Oh, yeah. I can't do it when it's daylight. I do have um, a decent, you like, eight, little... Yeah, you have a neighbor. Yeah. Yeah. Though the one side, you could probably get away with it right now. There's some good um, coverage through brush and stuff like that. But the other side, I share uh, a yard, basically, in between with someone. So yeah, and they've got children. I, so at night I still pee out Sean's. Oh, for sure, that rip. Mm -hmm. No one's gonna see that thing in the dark. Um, <laughs> you can't see it in the light. What are you talking about? The dark. Okay, there's so. some like shadow edge going on. Oh, that's a bad place to put this. It smells pretty good. Is that, is, are you into the runner right now? Yeah. Like she smells thing. like a spicy meatball. I just feel like you're getting ready. You're setting things up to break. I felt like I was doing the same like thing. Like you're booby trapping the fuck out of it. What is happening with you? I just want to pour this in a glass. A normal pour? Yeah. I feel like you're getting this to a fucking lumper there, bud. So, Traverse City um, does have their own rye, which I didn't realize. They have their own five-year rye right now. So this is borderline six years. Really, really close to six years. I can um, deal. Really? Well, it's MGP. Yeah. Oh, wow. Gotta. Oh, that's really. Uh... Dilly. Dilly bread. Minty. That's really minty. No, it's not nearly as minty as coming to that um, small. Jeez, small batch select. There you go. I thought I was wrong. No, I just hate their fucking naming scheme. <laughs> Glad we can agree on one thing. Chris said Sean pisses behind his Japanese weed. Dude, that does not. Sean's know got what. a murderous weed that's trying to penetrate his foundation. It is. It's called when Japanese I say penetrate his weed. foundation, I mean his <clears throat> foundation. If you know, it's what I'm rough. Saying. The amount of poison I I put together. What's actually funny is we okay. We went to a place. We um, locally we have a place called the uh, Chippewa Nature Center. It's like 1,500 acres. Uh, my work group always does a volunteering effort as part of our like outreach program. This year we went there and we were cutting and stacking wood with their invasive species guy. So all he does year round is deal with their invasive species. I was like, hey, you ever, me out. I was like, hey, yeah. you ever heard of this? He goes, oh yeah, so uh, I, I mix up this stuff. Like I do this poison and, um, and then I name the other poison. He goes, yeah. I was like, oh yeah, I got it. It's bad. He goes, good luck. I can't get rid of that shit. Like, cool. It doesn't go away. And you didn't know about it before you bought the house either? Nope. Not a fucking clue. No one would. No. 
Um, now, I mean, you'll check next time. Oh, for sure. So, Excel23 said, for the Super Chat Showdown, Mayor Pingree question mark, maybe you'll read this one, LOL. Did you tag him on this one? This time he did. See, this is how you get my Probably attention. Probably did on every single one. Impossible. Bright and shiny things get my attention. Orange is bright and shiny. That's red. Mash the drums. <laughs> okay, we're back. We're still going, man. Why does that happen? That happens. Man, this is so clovey. It's so clovey. I'll go pull clove out of the fucking go grab cabinet it. right now. Sometimes I wish I should do it with bourbon too. I'll walk inside and I'll smell shit in rye all the time. I'll constantly smell baking spices in rye. I walk into our counter, our spice counter, and anise, nutmeg, allspice, clove, fucking black licorice, which is anise. Uh, Chinese what else? spice spice. Yep. I don't know what else there is really, but those are most of them. Mint. ADSG Fishing says, my last $4 to stop Sean's invasive <laughs> species story. You can't. Dude, thank you for the super chat, man. We appreciate it. We love you. You're the best, dude. All right. I'm excited to see how this one will open up. Yeah, I actually agree with you a lot on that. I think that it's a, I don't know if stuffy is the right word, but it, it's really, the proof smells insanely high right now. Have you tasted it yet? Or have you no, just been I've just been giving it air. with it. Sitting here, let it you air. It, um, Cheers. It, ADHD fishing. You're Cheers, good sir. It's starting to get like a lot more molasses-y as it sits here and opens up. It smells thicker the more air it gets. It makes no sense. It is really, I get the name. The spicy meatball name, I get it now. Definitely a lot of spice on it. Clove, hmm. cinnamon, allspice. Like a lot of baking spice. Ooh, dark. Yeah. A lot of anise. Mm, no, because that's black licorice. I don't get any black licorice. Oh, it's there. No, it's not. Oh, it's there. Did you begin? Have you tried a five pound bag of salt for that invasive species? It worked for the triffids? So Trippin, people get very Trippin. mad when you salt the earth. Why? Uh, because you literally ruin the soil. Yeah, but it's your lawn. You paid for it. I know, but nothing will grow back for a very long time. Yeah, but it's your lawn. I know, but don't it's go in salt front a, of my house. Don't salt a park, right? But I get in, that. It's in front of my house. Okay. Hey, wait. Just a second. Did no, you I, pay for it? I put. Yeah. Okay. I then put fuck everybody else. Murder on top of it. I've got dirt growing Listen, right there. Sean's really worried. Yeah. Sean's like, no, it's in front of my house. Dude, you drive up to Sean's house and there's just <laughs> every green, lawn, normal, yellow. Just a giant ass fucking thing of yellow. So it like grows out, I'll, I'll stop after this. It grows out like very, very fast and we didn't, I didn't know what it was so I kept like mowing it basically and it was shooting it out in the lawn and it grows off that yeah. so I was making it much worse. So I had to like <laughs> spray out a much larger section from there what it was growing. Yeah, it's a dirt pile. OG Brick said Clorox and salt. Yeah. Clorox bleach? Yeah. What? I feel like that's way worse for the planet than salt. Really not. There's a lot of salt in the Salt's... ocean. Okay. Okay, that touches it... the fucking ground. Yeah, is there any fucking thing that grows on the beach? No. Dead fish. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, what do you like more, midwinter or will it tend midwinter? Will it tend means more to me? I like midwinter. Okay, actually let me rephrase this. Will it tend in summer? It's a dilly spicy bitch. Midwinter in fall winter. Let's put it that way. Midwinter is so... Midwinter cannot be fucking beat by any whiskey on the planet if it's cold outside. I don't give a shit what anybody says. You know I said Buffalo Trace better than Heaven Hill earlier? This is another statement. Midwinter cannot be beat by Kentucky Owl. For sure. Holy shit, we gotta talk about something while people are still fucking in here listening. You don't, I don't think you know about this, which makes me more excited because you're gonna fucking love this. Okay, man. ADHD fishing is a fucking legend, right? We all know this. Mm -hmm. When it comes to comments, mm -hmm. shit like that. Funny as fuck, he's our mom for a Funny reason. Funny as, as fuck, right? Okay. There is a there's an Instagram thread which I Bourbon Junkies was invited to, so I, this is why I don't think you know about it. I don't know if we talked about it. He set it up. Dixon Debman's in it. Ooh. Uh, I don't know who I don't know who else. Does it I don't does it matter? I don't know who else. There's fucking 30 people in it. 
He fucking made, he, he bought a fifth and got a sticker made. And we're doing like a fucking whiskey community blend bottle. Oh, we've talked about it. We have? Yeah. That Dixon was doing it. The Dixon's involved. Yeah. Right? Okay. He was starting it, I thought. Nope. We're fucking. ADHC Fishing started it. It's on its way to us. Oh. I thought Dixon was starting it. Nope. Ew. Dixon's gonna finish it. Okay. Much better idea. He can clean up the bullshit. I don't we... think he can. What if he just like, oh my god, who <laughs> fucking made this? Dixon's like, you fucking idiots. Have you never blended whiskey before? Ugh. So, um, when we get it, I, I can't find the thread right now, but when we get it, we're going to do a review. It's going to be a Monday video. We're going to review it and add our whiskey to it. And then send it on our way? Add our, we get to add whiskey to it. Whatever we take out, we put whiskey in. So we'll pick a whiskey based on the flavor profiles. So I just want to read you a quick part of the back because he got even a, he fucking sent a story that I was, he had to have fucking wrote this. It's called Beagle Rare, <laughs> okay, Kentucky Howl Edition. <laughs> I, I, I won't read you all of it even though it's really fucking good, but it's, a, it's long to read right now. Yep. And you read it at a third grade pace. No, so. I read it at a normal pace. So this, as the story goes, Edward H. Trailer was a stagecoach driver in the early 1900s. He lived in a tiny crooked shack with his hunting dog, Muggsy Bees. Wall of his rickety home was adorned with illustration of gadgets somebody playing to a man. Okay. So eventually down here it says, they named it Old Charter. <laughs> because local historians were quoted as saying, that boy turned cheap, bought a fancy bourbon distillery, chartered down and just started drinking. So he named it Old Charter, dude. So then, it says the Beagle had a knack. Because you know how this is a play on all the bullshit on whiskey bottles right now, right? Yeah. All the you gotta have a, a rich backstory. The Beagle, as discovered later, had a knack for finding the best barrels on property. When old Charter finished the barrel, Bugsy Beagles would sniff out the next honey barrel, that victory howl that could be heard throughout Kentucky. It's up to you, the internet, and ultimately, Dixon Deadman, <laughs> to blend a bottle Holy shit. in the honor of old Charter, who lived our dream. I I need a fucking writing company to pick your ass up. Just write books. What the fuck? To fucking put descriptions out for, write a book, for companies. Because it'd be great. Uh, Bourbon Junkies, Linux Cat says, I've tagged you and asked many times, is that Jack Daniels single barrel, a single barrel barrel group? Yeah, man. We said it 30 times, dude. But it's not a single barrel, you said. Okay, touche. It's, it's Expel 23. No, that's ours is a single barrel barrel group. I think... The I, one that we got is not single barrel? It says Jack Daniels barrel proof. I think all the Jack Daniels barrel proofs are single barrels. So when you Love shit it. on me earlier no. oh, about yeah. calling out yeah, single barrels. Yeah, because I was reading this. Yes. Because Expel can answer your question. Expel 23 can answer your question. But I would imagine it's probably a pretty damn safe assumption as I think all of the... Expel already answered his question. I'm sorry for fucking even getting into this. <laughs> so is this single barrel? Yes. Okay. Fuck this guy. Yes. Okay. Now, there's a different part of the label that I have to read. It's, it's short. This is fucking incredible. ADHD fishing. In a completely fictitious blind tasting competition, celebrity guest judge Fred Minnick was underwhelmed with Beagle Rare's Kentucky Howell Bourbon. The remaining five judges on the panel, all ironically named Benjamin Franklin, were <laughs> able to plead their case. However, and convince, however, Convince Minnick to award Beagle Rare a double gold. As he departed, Minnick was quoted as saying the Beagle Rare, it's no McKenna, but that dog will have fun. Or that dog will hunt. Sorry, that dog will hunt. So that's on its way. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. He sent us a message and he said, gotta give you guys the first crack of Beagle Rare. Here's your tracking. So that will be a review and it will be worth watching. We on, In the review, we will add our whiskey on video. So that's going to be a fucking blast. Dude, ADHD fishing is a fucking legend for real. Can't even with this guy. Dude, for real. You need to write some fucking books, dude. Some fan fiction Listen, or something. Get some fucking shit do something, man. What in the world, man? You're more creative than both of us put together. We have a YouTube channel. <laughs> like, holy shit. I mean, don't look at me like I'm not the creative one, though. Do that. That seems like a good idea. What do you think about this? Uh, I can't wait to see how it opens up. 
Yeah? You like like a little let down right now? Yeah. I don't know if let down is the right word. It's really good whiskey. Um, But I know it's $100, basically. Was it 90-something? I don't remember which was which. One was 80, one was 90. Yeah, you, boy, it was 90-ish, and you had to drive yeah. to get it. 80 or 90. Yeah. I mean, if I wasn't the distributor, I wouldn't have had to drive, but I'm a good person, so I'm trying to help other people out. 90-ish, whatever. Sure, okay. 90-ish um, rye? I don't know about that right now. I'm going to... Definitely, it needs some air. Okay, um, here's the thing. It does feel very stuffy right now. Yes. It is going to maybe open up great. Sure. We'll find out. It could open up and be like, ugh, that unpacked bad. I feel like the proof... Um, or not the proof. The finish is a little short right now. For, for a $90 bottle, is yeah. what I'm saying. It feels... Yeah, just super stuffy, man. Uh, it, it needs some time. It is... A little young. It's not young, bud. It's young. six years, basically. I thought you said it was... It's like five, ele- five years, 11 months or something. Uh, okay, was... well, we drink Will It Four Year and love it. It's different. This is six. It's different. That's <laughs> aged in Kentucky. It's That's not... aged in ten- uh, Traverse City. It's MGP. Yeah, but... It could have been aged in Indiana for five years. I have no idea. Been. Yeah, it's fine. Not Kentucky, but... I would... Oh, I would almost bet that they age it for a while. For a decent amount of time. Uh, Trevor City? Yeah. It's definitely possible. Um, Because it just... It seems a little off-profile for MGP Ride. It's not a bad thing. It just doesn't seem quite like what you normally get out of them. But that could all change when it it unpacks. Cast strength, almost six here. I think this is going to be one of the better rides on the shelf. Isn't that cool? Oh, that is a nice little Isn't plaque. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Traverse City has really cool plaques, and they put the logo of whoever picked it yeah. on there. Yeah, I didn't know really if that cool. was a sticker or not. Yeah, no, it's like but not. Yeah, it's definitely a nice little, little engraved plaque. plaque. No, shiny bits as Whiskey Tribe calls it. Ooh. Oh, definitely a shiny bit. I think it's good. Um, will you grab the other Traverse City Whiskey Rye real quick? I just want to compare them. I'll catch up on it. Shat. You shat. Just so you can throw this in Sean's face, you right away guess the old Severn. Oh, he said you right away guess the old Severn. Ezra Seven was six years old. Was around six years old. You hear that? I smelt that and I said that's probably around six years old. Oh, bro, expelling me just bonded like you can't imagine. You know what I mean, dude? I appreciate you bringing that up in chat right now because that's very important that that happened. Hmm. Wow, holy shit, that's got a lot of cinnamon in it. Ooh. Oh that's my good. gosh! That goes that went up. Like instead of down, it went up. That's Ricky Bobby fucking crashing his car through your house. Yeah. Telling you if you don't chew big red. That's a spicy fuck meatball. You. That right there is a spicy meatball. This that's a lower proof than the store pick. Like the amount of, oh fuck dude. Oh, okay. You're gonna say the fucking amount in that one. Okay, I'm gonna catch up on the old chat. Um hmm. This has a lot more of the uh like rounder baking slice. I I probably do like that one more yeah, right now. And they were the same um, price. Because that's just straight cinnamon. Go fuck yourself. This was like 80, 85. This, um, was 80 or this has a bit more rounded um, <clears throat> spice characteristic in the back. And we literally just opened it. Um, I definitely get way more dill out of this one, though. So the thing I wonder is, if that'll go away. This could be Traverse City's whiskey. This one could be. It's possible. Or it could be Alberta. Okay. Somebody said it was Alberta. But then I thought they said this was this, Alberta. Yeah, they didn't tell me that. People said they sourced from Alberta, yeah. but then they said that this was MGP. Yeah, we know this know. one is MGP, though. Well, okay, here's the issue. I thought we did. Traverse, I mean, I, I know that from the person who picked it because Traverse City told them that. That's what I'm saying. The issue with Traverse City, the, my only issue with Traverse City. Not a lot of transparency. When he says not a lot, he just means there isn't any, which is yeah. unfortunate. So, okay, so I'll trade you a midwinter for a GTS in the winter. Because <laughs> so there's no better whiskey in the winter. If Thank it's you, sir. if hear me out, if it's an Act One, I'll trade you Sean's George T. Stag for that Midwinter Night's Tramp because Sean's is still closed and sealed. I opened it three weeks ago. Um, <laughs> it's empty. Uh, damn eel. That's not spelled how you think it would be, but 
It, that's how it sounds. Danny Eel. Nope. Damn Eel. Everyone have a good night. Always entertaining things here. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. Um, Sean, pretzels? I'm out. Ate them. You ate them all. Ate them all. And the minute, I'm a better man. ADHD Fishing said, the minute tidbit was my favorite to write. Dude, I read <laughs> that. You sent that to me today, and I got really excited. I liked it. And I was at work, and shit hit the fan at work today. All day. Apparently on the drive in. Yep, and then it continues the rest of the day. So, if you were just better, your job servers wouldn't go down. Unfortunately, it's actually not, thank God, my fault, but it is my problem. So, uh, anyways, so it doesn't matter why. ADHD fishing said, guys, I drive a bus. Dreams do come true. Dude, <laughs> write some fucking stories, though, mm -hmm. dude. Seriously, these cells giving a shit. Sure, that they think they're creative. No, but we're creators. Okay? <laughs> yeah. So, let's fucking deal with it, dude. All right? <laughs> did you? Did they see their attempt to do a non-bourbon review? What was it? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, dude. You can like a rye? Maybe. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Uh, bourbon junkies? No. Nope. Oh, that was just expelled telling me that I guess Old Ezra Seven was around six years old. Pretty again, sure. huh? No, I just read, read it. that again. I read huh? it again. Yeah. Okay. Will it pot? Oh, will it is pot still? That's yeah. a big difference. Dreamman KY says then MGP. Yeah. So for the four, may, okay. So maybe younger mm. rye should be pot still. Hmm. That's that would be an interesting experiment that uh, obviously we can't do, but that would you be can a very, distill and then pot distill something. Yeah. Hmm. Same mash bill, same distillery. That'd be really cool, but it would take a hell of a lot of equipment. Yeah, because the you would need a, a distillery that runs that has pot both. still yeah. and. Kind of um, let's see. Oh, tanning video. <laughs> that was a good ass fucking. That was a good time. That was time. funny as shit. That was you a good shut time. your fucking mouth. Listen, listen, it was fun. We had a lot of fun making it. Will it possible? Give me your best bourbon that this one beats. Will it possible is better than none? <laughs> uh, okay. I shouldn't say none. Who is this? What is Willet Pasta? Morgan Down. What yeah. is Willet Pasta? Be? We've had Willet Pasta once or twice ever. Willet Pasta beats Jim Beam White Label. Woodford Reserve. Really? I disagree. It'd be close. I don't know. I disagree. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I had Willet Pasta and was like, you know what? Yeah. I, good stuff. One of those. Uh, uh, I just think it's one of those like middle of the row. What is it? Beat? So I just threw a thirty-five dollar bottle out there. I was like, sure. You know what's in, that's a really interesting idea. Is like, what is what are these whiskeys people don't love better than? <laughs> what well, was my idea earlier in the stream that we were gonna do? Oh, that's weird. You don't remember it? But it was my idea, so I still taking credit. Well, when you don't remember it, <laughs> I'll like, rephrase dude, it to you. You hear me out, and I'm like, yeah. holy shit! So we each buy bottles. Oh, yep, I remember now. Yeah. And I drink the ones I think you'll like. Yep. Okay. All right, dude. And then we just say if you think the other would like it or not. Yeah. Yeah. Right down the grades and stuff. I remember. I remember. Remember? Remember Chewbacca? Yeah, you remember? Yeah, of course I remember. Woodford Reserve isn't good. It's not, it's not you, good. I thought you liked it more than I did. It's not good out of plastic. The last time we had yeah, it. Yeah, we had a shooter of it that was weird. We both hated it. And it then like we had a normal Physically Woodford. fucking hate it. Then I had it at a bar. It was um, yeah. We were just out... And Woodford was the best thing I could get. And I said, fuck it, double Woodford. And had it, I was like, holy shit, it's just like a good cherry bomb. Yeah. Um, really good. Uh, me and, I didn't mean Levi were out. Okay. Yeah, that, that plastic bottle was ran, <clears throat> like rancid. Bad. It was horrendous. And that's why it sold in glass. We, so Sean liked Woodford, and I gave it to him. That was probably one of my first, like, loves of bourbon. And I gave it, Sean walked in here and I had poured the sample bottle and I gave it to him. And I'm like, yeah, try this. He drank it. He's like, oh, that's terrible. I'm like, that's Woodford Reserve. He's like, no way. And we didn't, we don't actually have a bottle of Woodford just sitting around. So we couldn't I don't compare either. it at the time. No. So, but unfortunately, I, it was just something with that. The only Woodford I own is a rye store pick and it is delicious. Mm -hmm. I think Woodford makes fine products. I like yeah. store picks of Double Oak from time to time. I don't drink, I don't consume their stuff a lot. I think that, that is Brown Foreman's meh to me. Yeah. I think Old Forster is ridiculously good. I think Early <laughs> Times is good. I think Woodford for me is like 
Listen, their Brandy Cask uh, Masters Collection is incredible. Yeah. I think some of their, I have a problem with how Woodford Reserve does, some does their experimental collection and how they price it and stuff, but that's whatever. We don't know if it's good or bad. 120 bucks. Here yeah. you go. No, so I'm just, they know it's bad and it's still 120 bucks. That's the what pisses late me corn off. Or whatever. American corn? Oh, not a. Fucking, I don't know, shit um, corn. It was like white American. Oh, it was 100% of... corn. It was corn whiskey was their master's collection, and it's horrendous. It's American oak? Is that what it was? There was something oak. Amer so select oak is supposed to be pretty good. The oak grain is what you're thinking oak of. Oak grain, which yeah. Which is not, yeah. Oak grain and the other one came out at the same time, the, the corn, I thought. Yeah. Two of them came out at once. Uh, somebody said the bottle is cool. Somebody said Willet Postel is only good for the actual bottle. Agreed. Yeah. Uh, Woodford, they their master's collection puts out a really cool bottle. Yeah, that's true too. And they're talking about the Willet Postel. Oh, I like the only good thing about the Willet Postel is the bottle. This brandy cask one, I love that. Probably bottle. one of the best things they've ever put out. I love that bottle. Um, that was the one that early in the the stream I said that's a shame yeah. that they just don't make it anymore. Chris said it's better than your bottle of Peerless Rye. David said new weeded Woodford coming. Yep, oh, yeah. I saw that today. Red or red label on it? That was red. I am not looking forward to that. Why? I'm not. You're way more of a weeder fan than I am. Yeah. I bet it's just going to be like a larceny, though. That's my guess. It's that, going to be way more of a... That sounds horrendous to me. I think it's going to be way more of a larceny than it's going to be anything like a, a Special weather. Reserve? Yeah. Okay, here's the problem. I like Special Reserve. Okay. I don't like larceny. I don't like Larson But either. Larson is a Heaven Hill product, and mm -hmm. I don't generally lean into Heaven Hill products. Yep. Weller is a Buffalo Trace product. We've been over this a thousand times tonight. Have we? I don't lean into Maker's Mark, which is also weeded. Yeah. Uh, it seems like cheaper weeded just isn't my jam. Regular Makers, I'm not a real big fan of. Cast uh, Makers, I like a lot more. Past videos would say <clears> differently. <throat> For what? You put Maker's Mark first in something once. Did I? Yep. Yeah, so my, I'm funny my pick. Months after that. I mean, funny you four months. Well, it's because you're a dick. That is very. Literally, nobody's disagreeing with you. If we're just stating facts here, I'm eventually gonna have to get you back. What about for what? what? Spraying you in the eye? Yeah. What's on purpose? Mm. I didn't do it. I would never do something malicious on purpose. Mm. Like if I thought it was gonna be funny and not harmful, I stayed I here would do late, it. helped you out. On my Friday. That's a good point. I show up here. I know get, I texted you and said thank you. Get maced. Not on purpose. <laughs> Accidentally <laughs> maced. It was almost like, oh, you were just kind of in, like in the vicinity of the maze. <laughs> <laughs> you might accidentally find yourself in the vicinity <laughs> of some maze at some point. Now, I hope you're benching. Um, let's see. It's better than your bottle of Peerless Rye, Will It Postel. That's damn true. <sighs> We have several bottles that are worse. The reviews I've seen for Weeded Woodford are not good. That's interesting. I've, I have not seen a review. I have not seen a review either. I didn't know it was even available to people yet. Yeah, um, yeah I 100% believe it's going to be more of a larceny that they tried to make a people pleaser. Because that I I believe I fully believe that's what Woodford is. Um, that's their mass market. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. their mass market. Like uh, when people get into bourbon and they have their fancy bottle that they show their friends it's Woodford Reserve and I feel like that's what the the weeder's gonna be it's like oh my gosh look at this I got this new Woodford yeah it's fancy okay uh, I don't mm. disagree with that mm. it's gonna be Larson in a different bottle like that Dustin said the Woodford double wood is amazing double oak so double oak yeah double oak is good I Sean like and I used oak. to be like madly in love with double oak yeah. like like that was our favorite whiskey forever it felt like yeah Back when it was in the old bottle with the weird gold label on the front of it. Yeah, when they had the... I mean, it was the exact same bottle as the regular Woodford. They didn't have the squatty bottle then yet. It was still yeah. the, it was the, like the chocolate bottle. label, though. Yeah. Um, what about Woodford Reserve... Or, yeah, Batch Proof? Um, I heard the 2019 is better than the 2018. We haven't had the 2019. But, we like the 2018, but yeah. it has like a weird bitter finish on it. It so. does. And it took a long time to open up. Open up. It, oh, it took months. Forever, man. Literally um, months. Even out of an, a good net pour, uh, we had it, and we were like, God, that's rough. And it was like several, several months later, we came back to it, and we were like, oh, that's pretty good. Uh, Morgan Down says, don't understand the hype about Water 12. Had a pour for 20 bucks a couple months ago. I was excited. It was the oakiest motherfucking bourbon I've ever had. 
Listen. Um, it's really oily oak. You're never ever gonna get us to say Wood or Weller Twelve is worth anything more than um, what is it? Poor Man's Pappy. Nope, not even a chance. Weller Twelve is better. You get that much left, and it's literally from mixing. We blended poor man. almost all of that. So yeah. um, Weller Twelve is better in Poor Man's Pappy than it will ever be alone. So you're just oily oak. We don't need proof. David hadn't said. Here's the thing. Here's the counter argument. The old Pappy line. Now, I will William Leroux Weller, high proof, delicious whiskey. Pappy, Ooh. not incredibly high proof, but still good whiskey. You should try that. Why? I don't know the last time I've had it. Uh, we haven't had this like as what it is in a long time. Man. Hmm. Bourbon Junkies, Dan just got a little too excited, and the stream was much more forceful than usual when it react when it reached Sean's face. I don't know what <laughs> that means. But I apologize. When you guys wipe the GTS off the table, I don't. I don't clean the table. Um, oh no, it you... is at the the finish rate off over here. No, it hasn't. It yeah, just needs to be cleaned. No, I can see your finger wiping it. That's this. The finish on this table is unpenetrable. Worked in coating for a while, and trust me, it's not. <laughs> when you guys wipe the GTS off the table tonight, can you send me the rag on my dime and like to try to bring that baby out into a club? <laughs> you won't. That is some, like I said, super oily oak. I don't know, man. That's good. It's fine. <laughs> it's just now we're anywhere near 200 bucks or whatever. I'm fine with regular makers. 46 is no good. That's Sean's favorite whiskey ever. Uh, a couple stores 46? Around. No. Yeah. Ever. I mean, Antique would be closer. That's probably one of my favorite weeders. Antique? Yeah, outside of, I mean, regular William Little Weller. That. So that's the thing. So your my counter argument was Pappy's. Your argument is yeah, but WLW was better than everything ever. Basically, yeah, pretty much. It's high proof weeder. So yeah. I think I think you're probably on the right track with that. 100 to 120 sweet spot. Yeah, man. I don't the, the WLW that we had. I, that's just, probably why I don't like Larceny. Um, it's probably why I, I really don't love 12 that much. It, it it needs some proof. It needs something to stand up to the flavors you're getting. Um, and new proof. Yeah. It tastes like red apple right now. Man, it's oily oak. It's okay. It really is. It's all right. Um, I don't like special reserve that much either. Like that one feels I like super special thin. Reserve to like that feels the, the most thin and simple to me. I if I sit down I and I want to drink a bunch of whiskey though, yep. yeah, it's not bad. See, that's it's a good thing. glass of whiskey. I but. look at special reserve like this is this is a budget weeder. Yeah. Special Reserve is literally intended to be a budget weeder. Um, I think it's great. If Special Reserve is in the conversation, Larceny does not exist. Um, because I think Special Reserve does everything that Larceny does better. Except availability. Yeah. That's literally the only downfall to Special Reserve. Live in Ohio. They apparently get 58 <laughs> cases of it fucking every Where did day. We, we bought, you bought that one for $18 in Kentucky. Yeah. Not that long ago. So... Right, now was better late than never. Dude, I saw you in here hey. earlier, man. Thanks for coming back and hanging out. We're actually probably about to shut her down here in a sec. We're just talking to people. I didn't say I had to them. wash my clothes and take a nap. Have you guys had a Rebel Yell 10 year? We have not. We have not. We've never had. We saw one at an auction or a raffle lottery. We won the opportunity to buy a Basil Hayden's Double Rye instead. Didn't, if you're wondering. <laughs> didn't buy it. So, it's not like we had the option to buy either or. We just had the option to buy the basil. Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to twist that. Yeah. Rebel Yell was up there, then picked up, and then we came in the next place. Dead last and got the basil. By the next place, I mean two by six, two. six people passed, and then we got chosen. And I tell them we don't fucking want it. Somebody said, uh, oh, Jonas said, I tried a mini larceny. Very underwhelming. I completely agree with you. Yeah. I think that larceny... Larceny is supposed to. It's literally there to compete with makers. Budget wheat, yeah. It's it's the the bottle design is there to compete with makers. I don't like regular makers that much, and I would much rather have that over Larceny. I genuinely dislike makers. I, I would rather have makers than Larceny. Oh, okay. And I genuinely don't like makers. Okay. Now I'd rather have Special Reserve than both. Yeah, I agree. But, hell, I'd rather have damn near any bourbon I've had in the past year than both of those. But here we are. I saw, 50, I saw about 50 bottles of Weller Special Reserve today and even more rare 20 bottles of Buffalo Trace. 
Mm. I don't. I don't. I don't believe special reserve is that rare. It is here. Here. Yeah. Mind you, I know where we can get some. It's just a little bit overpriced. I can send my dad to Kroger's tomorrow yeah. and get ten bottles. Um, it, it's not that hard. He, I, because I have my dad looking out for 107 when he can find it for yeah. me. And uh, he goes, "Is the green label okay?" I don't want that. He's like, there's an entire shelf of it here. I was like, oh, I'm good. I'm really fine. I don't want that. Um, I still have my $18 bottle at home yeah. that I haven't even opened. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. It's just me. Me. Uh, Adam Gaston said, was that the same auction the same Basil Hayden was sitting on the shelf next to you? Yep. And then follow that up with Mike M said, Sean passing on the Basil Haydens at the lottery is still my favorite Bourbon Junkies video. <laughs> I wish I would have recorded it because Sean was fucking pissed. Sean was in such a bad mood. He was being so fucking sassy. And then people started winning over and over and he got more sassy and became a very bad sport about losing. After like the 12th or 15th time that one guy was called, it was just like, ah, we get it. You paid a lot of fucking money. Or this is super fucking rigged, whatever. Yeah, I think that it wasn't mixed well, the, the mm -hmm. results. Uh, Ryan Ellis says, we'll catch up on what I missed on the commute. Cheers, fellas. Listen, thanks, Thanks, dude. sir. You're the best, man. You missed a lot of technical difficulty. He was here at the beginning, so he probably experienced um, technical difficulties and then missed the middle. Uh, Re Rebel, your, yeah, Rebel Gill 10 years, really good. It's pretty much cheaper old fits because it's oh, sourced in Hill Weeder. Yeah. Okay. I uh, had a normal Rebel Yell. It's fine. I mean, I the last time I've had Rebel Yell. Honestly, I think um, Dan. Got right? <clears throat> I don't know. I, you were living in your old old house, and uh, in Vador, and Dan was like, "Dude, I just got a new whiskey. You should try it." And I was like, "Oh, it's not bad." And I bought a bottle, drank it down. Oh, it's not bad. And that was still in the the era of Woodford Reserve being or Double Oak being like our pinnacle. And now the gets in here. But the the rev, the regular Rebel Yell wasn't bad. Uh, someday I'll get around to try the 10 year. You guys can see Cookie. Come here, Cookie. No? You loud cat you? There he is. That was the most beautiful one. That's a Cookie Cat right there. All he's, right. He's got thumbs. No, don't go to the computer because you will touch buttons. All right. See, he's got thumbs. You ready to shut her down? Yeah. All right, dude. And the thumb cat. Thumb cat. That's my outdoor kitty cat. He's cool. He's basically yeah. a small panther. Yeah, he, you know, yeah. As soon as you started petting him and he's doing the cat thing. He's a raccoon fighter. <laughs> yeah, Not, he is. Haven't lost yet, dude. We have a fat raccoon and this cat just takes care of all of our, our dirty work for us. Stan won't. Just keep feeding him and he keeps drooling. That's it. Yeah. He's a drooler. Glad you feed that cat finally. I like this cat. I don't like many cats. I don't dislike them. But I, don't I have an indoor cat that doesn't come to me as much as that cat. That's very true. You saw her for like the first time since we've lived in that house. It's been a year. This cat? Oh, your cat? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, you I, walked I, in you were like, oh my god, your cat. I took care <laughs> yeah. of your cat once when you were gone. <laughs> And I didn't ever see it. No, you put out food for her. <laughs> I literally made it live, yeah. and I've never met it. Nope. Don't need to. <sighs> She's right. an independent cat. Duh. She don't need yeah. no man. She's an independent woman. Yeah. That's for Dan Sherry. I want to go cook her. Hey, she fishing. Dan is old charter tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, so real quick, let's uh, do a little bit of catch up here. What do we need? We need... Uh, community blend from Fishbone still. We need to know what you want in there. DJ Beacon yeah. never... I didn't ever see a quick review from DJ Beacon. So he, we owe him one of those. Okay. Uh, we need a sample idea from Patrick Fulmer. What are you looking He's for? He's still for in sample? here too. Um, and I think we're good otherwise. Good cat. For the most part. So. Can quick review This was a, a great starter tonight. Will be hard to beat. What does that mean? DJ Beacon. What does that mean? What do you say? This was a great starter tonight. Will be hard to beat. I don't know. Oh, mean, for the um, whiskey awards we got going on? Because Expel's sending us like four of them. Oh, maybe. But I don't think we said that, though. So oh, it'd be weird if he knew that. Expel's like sending us like four of them. DJ's like, what's up, bro? I'm that could have been in the, the chat. We didn't know. 
They, I'm in your shit. Oh, the, we'll be sending out the community blend samples. Uh, we'll be uh, I'm sorry, we'll be organizing ways for you to receive those. And I sent the quick review twice. Damn it, DJ Began, do it. We'll do it right now, dude. What are you tag Dan in? Dude, it? I'm fucking sorry, man. Ladies and gentlemen, when will you get the decades? Let me tell you. We're up to 100 ish. We're really close to $100 on the decades bottle fund right now. Yeah. So once we get to, I think 150 or 160 is what it is here. Yeah. Once we get to there, we will be buying decades. Oh, you just go okay. He just, he's a lover. DJ. And a fighter. DJ, send us, put it in chat. Put oh. it in chat right now. We'll do the quick review right now, dude. Drink one more whiskey. What do you got? Calf. No, don't you put your paws on me. They're just fucking talons. you will reach out and just put them in there. Oh, the GTS spray is the great starter. <sighs> That'll go down. People fucking hate that shit. <laughs> Never Sorry, I just tuned in. Did you guys review the Fireball Whiskey? Oh, we did. What? Did we? This is, no, this is Fizz for Ferocious. So that is not somebody who's been here before. We have not reviewed Fireball that I'm aware of. And you? If, hey, you send us the sample. We'll do it. I don't have any Fireball here, man. I'm glad. You know what? I, you know what? Here's what I'll give you a little quick review on Fireball. Jack Daniels uh, Fire? Tennessee Fire is oh, better, so much better. Drastically yeah. better than Fireball. Ten more dollars a fifth, dude. The Ten Amador. more dollars of worth it. The Amador, little quickie on the old Amy. Oh, okay. Well, we have two Amadors. He said the double barrel. Oh, I don't know about this bottle though. That um, is, that is as old as the Pappy Twenty Three. You know that, right? This is probably three years old, plus. Whoa, red apple caramel with, with maple syrup at the end. Really sweet, um, not really oaky. Um, I feel like that's kind of the right proof. It's like red caramel apples, man. If you like sweet whiskey, that's I feel like that's gonna be for you. There's Ooh. a little hint of peanut okay. in there too. I feel like the, the nose is a little more nutty than the finish or the palate, but um, better than I was hoping. Uh, really, that is a very, very old bottle because oh, that might be that's he, that's got to be around Pappy twenty three year old because I walked in. And what Sean says when he means Jesus that is like Christ. two and a half years old. Yeah, sorry. Um, <laughs> Since nobody else knows how old that. Look at this, your cat is rolled yeah. all over me. Well, it's also shed everywhere. Um, so I had walked in and I we were two minutes late. There's a whole story. My buddy here had already won the bottle and I didn't know that he was holding it down behind his back, he's hiding her. And um, so I said, fuck it, I'm just gonna buy something. And I ended up buying this. I'm pretty sure this is this bottle. DJ Beacon said, I have one and I would like your opinion. I'm assuming that bottle. I think that that's a good bottle of whiskey. I think it was like $60 mm -hmm. if I recall correctly. It was a mm -hmm. long time ago. I think um, it's around 50 or 60. Um, it's, I mean, I get way more nuttiness on the nose than I do on the palate right now. It's there. It's, but um, the nose, I feel like it's more overwhelming. Whereas the palate is not as overwhelming. Bit of tobacco on there. For sure. Okay. Okay. I do think that there's a graininess in it. There, I think there's an underlining tone of it the whole time. Yeah. But you get that like uh, classic bourbon up front. Little caramel uh, red fruit. Little tobacco and leather in the back end of it. I don't disagree with any of that. It's it's got like an older taste to it with an undertaste or and like an undertone of youngness on the whole thing. So it's weird. Oh, it's um, finished in wine barrels. It's not bad though. That's I, interesting. I want to know, man. I don't get like a it's wine. It's literally on the front, and I didn't get. Don't no get a either. whiny finish out of that. No, it's a vanilla, oak, brown sugar, and spice. All right, cool. You do that. Hmm. Just uh, say the most okay. bourbon notes you could. Yeah. So sixty dollars, probably too high. Um. Would you? We, we neither of us would buy again for sixty. Probably not. No. I. That's we can I get a little forest for sixty. Yeah. Uh, forty dollars. I feel like is a perfect price point for that. That would be a really cutthroat bottle at forty dollars. I bet. Uh, DJ Beacon said. 
I don't like the suite, but use in Manhattan. It's paid twenty nine, and I think and think I was screwed. So for thirty, I feel like it's probably a good bottle. Damn, I was on, I was on board at forty. Okay. Forty, I think that's a good dollar. A good dollar amount for that. So thirty dollars. Perfect. Mm, Sixty does seem high. Yeah. Sixty seems high. Yeah, um. Uh, Fizz Four for us says, "Have you gentlemen ever tried Maker's Mark cast rings? Sean likes it drastically more than I do. Yep. So, uh, a lot I hot more than Dan. Cleveland kid said, oh, oh God, he's not an Amador fan. He said, well, I did did finish my bottle. I will not purchase another. Yeah, I thing. wouldn't purchase another one of these for sixty. No, I don't know that we'll purchase another one of these. Period." Probably but we not. have one. We do. Yeah, that's kind of how it. Yeah, I mean, I. There's a reason this bottle's two years that old. old. It's yeah. Almost half full still. So. It's not bad. It's just okay. not great. It's a little spiky. That's something we reach for. Um, There's better whiskeys for especially for sixty dollars. It's for, it has the potential to be good. It's got the right flavors. They're just not melded together. Yeah. Perfect. Um, it's just not a good cohesive drink for sixty bucks. No. Cocktail would be interesting with it. Yeah, it would That's be. a good idea. Like Manhattan, like DJ Beacon's saying. Yeah, because Manhattan, you put a little spice in there. Um, I don't think it'd be very good on a uh, old fashioned. I don't think it'd stand up. Yeah, yeah I don't know. The proof's not extremely high, so. It's not. It doesn't have that oomph. All right. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the super chats tonight. Thank you for all the support tonight. Yeah, thanks, guys. I'm really bummed that you guys missed. Uh, amazing in the first Sean suffered for kind of nothing just cause OBS was like nah fuck you guys you're so lucky Gabby didn't see that I'm not she said get goggles she then saw you spray me in the nose and face with it and she didn't care you tell Gabby she'll never see the end of this you tell Gabby she should care far more about me than you that's how this works okay why is that? All right. Did you beacon said thanks for the quickie? Nah, don't. And then he corrected himself, said quick review. Don't correct yourself. Listen, <laughs> that's not necessary here. All right. For real, thank you everybody for watching. We appreciate it. We're the Bourbon Junkies. I'm Dan. He's Sean. Oh. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. He's um, trying to hit an outro here. I'm hitting a fucking outro, bro. He's ADHD Fishing says, Night, Dan. Fuck you, Sean. <laughs> Dude. Ah, so much outstanding. Thank you for all the support, everybody. <laughs> thank you for all the new patrons. Uh, ADHD Fishing, Trevor Wilson, thank you guys for monitoring the channel. <laughs> I'm going to cash your $5. You guys are the best. Good night, everybody. Richie Z still in chat. Good night, Richie. Good night, everybody. <laughs> See you guys. See you guys, uh, yeah, Thursday. Yeah. Thursday. <laughs>